Can we hear Corey? Can you guys hear us? Thanks, Alexander. Please. Please. One, two. Okay. And you can hear Corey, okay? Can hear everybody but the GM. <laughs> Your audio source may just be muted. You have 10 viewers. What the... All right. How about now? How's that? Can everybody hear me now? I see a bar moving, so I'm assuming so. Yes, they should be able to hear you. All right. The intro was so cool. Thank you, Gummy Bears. All right. So how's uh, everybody give a sound check just for audio quality um, and make sure that everybody can hear and they're not blasting anybody's eardrums out or uh, that they're not whispering. So go ahead and we'll just go around and just introduce yourself with your name, not your character name just yet. Uh, we'll start. I'll start. Yeah, I'll start. Uh, hey, it, my name is my name in the chat is um, Rue Ravel, but you may know me from Tabletop Misfits as Del Air or Matt. Those those are my names that I use. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. And we'll Who's just next? we'll just go around the circle here. Uh, go ahead, Brian. All right. So um, I'm Brian. I'm new here. And uh, we're just checking sound, I guess. So I'll just stop talking now. Andy? This is wild. I'm getting a constant echo of the six. Like, Corey's introduction from 60 seconds ago is still repeating. Oh, mute. Now Matt's introduction is repeating. And now Brian's introduction is repeating. All right. So you I need to mute Twitch. Brian, you need to mute Twitch. Mute Twitch. Yeah, mute Twitch. Mute your Twitch. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna be, I'll be busy muting Twitch, but I'm Andy. <laughs> all right and and last but certainly not least hey guys i'm whitney um i am must love all the otters in the chat and i'm matt's husband or husband <laughs> <I'm> matt's <wife. laughs> <laughs> matt is my husband i am all right so and i am Corey uh from chrysalis creative endeavors and uh with tabletop misfits our first ever um Tuesday night or Misfits Tuesday night. Uh, this will be the time slot where we will be playing Plots and Dark and Haven whenever Plots and Dark and Haven comes out. Um, uh, but for now, we're just playing some fun other stuff until it comes out. So um, uh, before we get into everyone's John, uh, I just want to do a, a recap of the fundraiser that we did last Wednesday um, when we did the fundraiser for Game to Grow on stream. Our total was uh, $2,130 raised for Game to Grow. Um, that included some donations from the Facebook thing and a couple of donations directly to Game to Grow um, from some of our some of our. Uh, sponsors i guess not well they don't sponsor us they, they sponsor game to grow and they watch us so uh <laughs> so that's good news which means we unlocked four other prizes that we will be giving away tonight um i think james is in chat so he he's going to kind of manage who gets those prizes uh when we get to uh act two of our our name scenario tonight so um we're going to go ahead and do character intros and I'm going to paste something in chat that you guys can see, but my players are not allowed to click on and look at. So as, as we go around and you just give your character name. Um, well, actually let me give a, a overview of what every John, everyone is John is. So everyone is John is a, is a simple improv competitive role play game where everyone plays the same character in the story. We're all John, all voices in John's head. So that is kind of how it goes. So they're going to be bidding for control of the character in the story. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and we'll do that. So we'll, we'll go in reverse order from how we did it before. So Whitney, go ahead and tell us your character's name. My name is Lucky John. And uh, do we want to tell our quirk and stuff yet? Or no? Yeah, go ahead and tell your quirk or your tell. And the quirk or the tell is something that someone outside of the body of John might be able to notice and pick up on as that per or that voice is in control. So what's your quirk okay, or your uh, tell? Um, I'm going to say my tell is going to be like if I like wrinkle my nose. 
Okay. Okay. It's a weird one. It was. I'm just guessing. All right, Andy. So, yeah. I'm Johnny Law, and my tell is that I keep fondling my ivory handled colt. <laughs> Brian. Wait, do we have an ivory handled colt? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> <Do> now. <laughs> It's called Yes Anding. <laughs> In this case, it's Yes Andy. Apparently. Man, I'm super into that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, my John is John the Methodist, and uh, my tell is every time I, I come back, I say, thank you, Lord. All right. And finally, Matt. One second, I'm communicating with, with the powers that be. Oh, same. Um, uh, it, my name is John Farns, Farms, Famsworth, not Farnsworth. Um, I am, name. it is, I am a doctor of sorts, uh, and I'm constantly, whenever I'm in control of the body, just kind of like, just like giving it a real Mr. Burns, just like, um, uh, in the corner. Uh, but, uh. Yeah, I'm, uh, that's me. I'm just really simple and uh, definitely not trying to do anything bad. Awesome. So uh, I'm going to pause here for a second, and I just want to kind of read something that's written in the Everyone is John um, uh, drive through RPG book. I think it's important that we do kind of have a... a, a, a on the subject of mental health here. So this is this is a game and it's intended to be humorous, fun, a romp through an imaginary world of imaginary man doing imaginary things with imaginary voices in his head, controlling his actions from moment to moment. It is very tongue in cheek and has good intention and humor at its core. It's very uh, it uses very unscientific television terms and concepts, especially in regards to psychology and mental health. However, um, I think not only the authors of this game, but we at Tabletop Misfits uh, feel very strongly about the subject of mental health. And in no way, shape or form is this work intended to demean, mock, diminish or make light of uh, the constant struggles that many people have with serious mental health problems, such as disassociative dis identity disorder or schizophrenia. So for those who are bravely working through such health issues, you have nothing but our love and support. And I felt like that was a very important thing to share as we go into a role-playing game uh, where we're trying to have fun and um, we're all playing the same character. So also, every one of the players has chat up. So we want a little bit tonight of audience participation. So these are the four main voices of John. Um, so I'm going to ask that anybody in chat are the kind of minor voices of John. Please, as things are going on, throw ideas out. But what I ask you not to do is let them know each other's obsessions or anything that you see on the character sheet. So keep that hidden, but you can throw out ideas into chat and they can see it. And who is ever in control of John might or might not act on those, those uh, ideas coming from the chatter in our heads. Um, as you can tell, I'm wearing a cowboy hat today, and this session of Everyone is John takes place in the Old West. That's right. All right, so how this works is everybody has 10 willpower. They can bid uh, any number of that willpower to take control of John. Before we got started, um, it, it looks like uh, Lucky John won. Um <laughs> It looks like Lucky John won the bid before we got started. Um, and we have, uh, oh, and skills. So the only thing you roll in Everyone is John is a D6. So if they have the skill, the target is a three. If they don't have the skill or if they're using the skill to do something that is totally unreasonable to use that skill for, uh, it'll be a six. I may add to that total, meaning that if they're trying to do something completely insane, I may say your target is an eight or a nine, which means they would have to spend willpower before rolling to even have a chance. And by the way, any player can spend willpower before a roll. They just have to say, hey, I'm going to add two to that roll because I really think that's great, even if they're not the one in charge of John. Um, 
Finally, the last thing that I need help from chat with is keeping score. This is a competitive game. You'll notice in the link that I sent, which is a few, yep, it got shared out again. Thanks, James. Um, in the link I sent, each character has obsessions. If they do, if John, no matter who is in control, right? So if, if uh, Whitney's in control of John and... Um, uh, John the Baptist or John the Methodist's character <laughs> obsession. <laughs> I messed that up. Uh, John the Me <laughs> <laughs> is is in is, his obsession is eat a cookie. But for some reason, when Whitney's in control, John eats a cookie. Then John the Methodist gets gets a point. So, um, and and every time they do it, they can get those points. Uh, the, there's a one, a two, and a three-point obsession. Of course, the three points are very hard to do, um, and that's that's how keeping score works. All right, players, do you have any questions before I start the opening scene? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I go use the John. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Too late. John the toilet. No, I, I, find a bottle. We, we only had a fifth player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on. I am going to refresh the feed and mute the tab so that I can Probably actually see low, the feed. Because I didn't want to go first. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else also been low. <laughs> All right. Not low enough. There. Now I can see the live feed. And... All right, Lucky John. Yes. You wake up in a saloon, smoky air stinging your nostrils. Immediately you notice two cowboys staring you down. One with a hand lowered near his ivory-handled colt. As you realize where you are, his buddy says, Rico, this little bastard just said he kissed your girl. All right, so notice, anybody in chat, anybody, all the players, you don't have to be quiet just because Lucky John is in control. You can still try and sway the situation, but I'm really only listening to the actions that Lucky John does until I say, bid for control, and then we see who takes control next. So go ahead, Lucky John. Me? Uh, no, no. I, I haven't kissed anyone. Um, you, you look to your left, and there is a girl... Um, sitting on the stool next to you, uh, dressed um, in, in the Western courtesan style. Um, and she's like, she leans away from you as if like, what? You know, what? what I've, I, I haven't. Yes, sir. Lucky, that's our girl. What are you doing? Sir. Stand up for her. Sir. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know her. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> what are you doing? Take Defend her honor. Can... Come on. Yeah. Sir. Sir. Yeah. Just shoot Rico. Right. Either one's fine. I mean, no, I, I don't want this to, uh, like, no, 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 uh, I think I'm, I'm No gonna, what, I'm says go, Rico. No, you don't. I'm going to try to walk away, um, because I don't want to get Jasmine, guys. Jasmine, Jasmine, did he kiss you? Remember, you, need... you kissing on him, Jasmine? Jasmine, you're my girl. Rico, he you know this is my Eva. job. Yeah, so you did. You did kiss my girl, and he reaches over and grabs your shoulder. Lucky John, what do you do? Oh no! Um... Kiss him. Kiss. I'm gonna kiss. Yes, I'll kiss him. That's what I'll do. I'll kiss him. I'm gonna turn it around on him. What? 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 He is speechless. He doesn't know what to do. Uh, when you kiss him, there he's he's got stubble on his chin. And then finally he looks over at the guy who was with him and says, Jake, what's going on? What is he? What? Who are you? And then Jake steps up. Hit him. Hit him. I don't know what he's doing. Hit him. Hit him, Rico. Shoot him. That guy. Shoot him. Get, get down, pray. I can Shoot just start him. taking my clothes off. I mean, you don't hit people that what? are naked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Council of Dawn, the rolling right, disagreement. What is you what is agreement. this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what is your intent with taking your clothes off? What are you trying to do? Maybe they won't hit me. Like 
So you're trying to 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 defuse the situation and persuade yes. him to leave you alone. All right. Well, yes. give me that D6 and we'll see what happens. Oh god. Which one of your skills is this using, John? <laughs> what obsession is this about? Uh, your nose is your nose puckered up? <laughs> Something's puckered up and that's what John's trying to do. <laughs> you rolled a 4? Yeah. All right. Well, that doesn't do it. Doesn't really persuade him to leave you be. Um, R- Rico, as you as you take off your shirt, uh, R- Rico, and, and you've got like one sleeve out, the other sleeve no, no, about I did to come pants out. First. Oh, I did you did pants first. pants first. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, with that, you had to because drop your gun belt. My shirt. That that could just be that I want to fight. So, so if I so, take off my pants. So as you drop your gun that. belt, Jake goes, "Oh, look at that skinny coward." <laughs> and then you drop your gun belt and uh Rico backs off and he's shaking his head like yep that's right that you drop that gun belt cuz I'm the man and then you start to drop your pants and he backs off a little bit more eyes goes wide what are what are you doing who are you anyway and how do why do you come to the town well and why are you kissing on what what is what is going on Jake he says to his his uh his skinny uh little partner there uh, Jake's just shaking his head at him. Um, Assert your dominance. Bid for control as as pants are around the ankles and and two yeah. cowboys and a, and a crowd of people in the saloon now making a circle around the three of you and and pointing and some laughing and the bartender is uh, is is backing away from this whole situation. All right. So, John the Methodist, uh, you are in control. Um, now, now, um, <laughs> you've dropped trout in the middle of a saloon. That seems like a very good place for you. All right, so, and, and, and Whitney, you regain one of your willpower uh, that you bid at the, before we started stream. So, because you lost the bid, you gain one of those back. All right. So, uh, what do you what are you doing, John the Methodist? Uh, now that I see them backing away, I'm going to uh, down to my knees. Say, oh, God. You, you took your pants off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. Can we dissociate somehow? <laughs> How do I interrupt? Put into poor little John's doctor <laughs> 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 thing. Oh, he gets down. He begins praying a little loudly. So. It... And while that's happening, he does fish for the gun and is currently on the ground. All right, all right. The gun is in its bu- in its holster on the in the gun belt as you're praying. And 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 uh they're not even looking at once you go once you go down on your knees, they're looking at each other and having this conversation, you know, I don't know what he's doing. You better tell him to get up. You tell him to get up, Jake. I I'm not dealing with it. Tell tell that and and he uses some offensive language uh to get up cuz uh, this is this is not what we do in 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 the saloon here here in uh 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 oh, I don't what, what, what are we going to call this town? Oh, people in the chat, name this western town. All right, so that's not what we do here. What do you do as they're chatting, not looking at you, and he's telling Jake to get you up off your knees? Uh, so I, I finish my prayer, and I say, Amen. And then I pick up my pants, and I put the belt back on, I put everything back on, and I say, Gentlemen, we in this town need to learn to love thy neighbor, no matter how off they may seem. No matter if it seems they may have kissed on your girl, there is nothing wrong with other than one another. Hmm. It's him again, for, for good measure. I mean, and, it's, and it's I. Absurd. Absurd. Literally loving one another. I mean, quite yeah, literally and, loving one another. And you even take showing... a look of yourself while you got your pants off. <laughs> I can love whomever I want, myself included. <laughs> All right, all right. So to love yourself, love one another, and you don't need to resort to violence. So the name of our town from the uh, from the stream, I'm I'm gonna go with Alex's uh, Montclair Valley. Um, is yeah, that's how it's said? It, it, you have to go up on the end like a question, just like you put it in chat. Montclair Valley. 
Um, because and there is in a valley. Right, yeah, it's in the plains. <laughs> it's like there's no mountains anywhere around. <laughs> we should resort to violence. <laughs> it's time to resort to violence. <laughs> All right, so... Um, at, at at this the 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 saloon doors swing open. Um, it, Rico has grabbed Jasmine by this point and pulled her over, and and is kind of holding her close to him. Uh, and um, a a a gentleman who is uh, sort of rotund with a sheriff's badge, um, Sheriff T. Smith comes in. Well, how do you do, everybody? Uh, as uh, it, what seems to be going on? Everybody's standing around in a circle. I see. Um, well, I don't see any guns drawn, so it all must be all right. You're new Methodist here, John. aren't you? Methodist John, those men are making that that courtesan work for them. You have to you have to rescue her from this life. Yes, I, I am new. Uh, new to town to. Um... Montclair Valley? That's right, Montclair Valley. <laughs> uh, so lo- love the town. Uh, My great granddaddy, he, he, he made this place. He, he, he was a founder of the Montclair Valley. Um, because, uh, well, where he come from, this is a valley. You know that ditch that runs along, uh, run along the t- side of town? That's, that's, that's a valley, Montclair Valley. The one with all the sewage in it? One yep, with yep. all the, the excrement? You're not yep. here. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, one with all the excrement. That's right. Yep. It's free, uh... man. Hey, our sheriff is the only real sheriff here. That guy is an imposter. Uh, who, who does this guy think he is? Uh, I'm the law. So who is this guy? We're the law. That's right. Oh, where? where? I'm talking, I guess, to other Johns right now. Uh, where? I think you were where just speaking you? to the sheriff. Yeah. Yeah, the law. Where God, are you from, so boy? Law, Where are you from? I'm from... It's a great question, chat. All over. Uh, All over. We've been, we've been every, everywhere, man. We, we, uh, we don't have a home, necessarily. My home is the church. Oh, a religious man, are you? What's your name, boy? My name is John the Methodist. All right, John... The Methodist. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, well, it, it it seems like you've upset my friends Rico and Jake. What what's what's going on? Um, Rico is just he's beat red. Doesn't want to answer. Uh, and then Jake goes, "Well, hey, let me tell you, Sheriff. It, it was it, it was real interesting, right? So that guy's kissing on Jasmine. Rico got all upset when I told him he was kissing on Jasmine. Then that guy right there, he's he's a he's he's he said he didn't kiss on Jasmine. And then he starts uh, he, he kisses on Rico. And then the sheriff looks at Rico. And then he starts to take off his clothes and he gets down on his knees. Sheriff, I'm just showing everyone a lesson that <laughs> to judge to judge onto another. Just based on their actions is not in the way of God. That's what judges do. But but my boy, some you of those things you're talking about neighbor. ain't in the way of God neither. Now we ain't we don't we don't do that here in uh, in Montclair Valley. If you kiss Rico, then Rico also kissed you. So I think you got to turn that around real quick. I, I do think that this was a reciprocated action, though. It's what? also There's I'm trying to teach the you, man a reciprocated a what? What's action? Who reciprocated who? Who's reciprocating in here? Oh, some other words, sorry. dummy. Uh, <laughs> kissing is a two-person action, sir. Rico's like, no, 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 sir. No, sir. No, sir. I did not know. No, no. I, I'll keep coming back to this because uh, loving thy neighbor is quite the lesson to learn. And I think a hands-on lesson was what was needed in this particular moment and i do apologize if i crossed any lines but i'm doing what i can um well a moment to spread the word of god i i i i i don't i don't think that's i don't think that, no no it, I, there was no there was no rec- reciprocating between the two of us now i you want to you want to you, you you think about you reciprocating we can go outside and we can finish this with our irons what do you think about that uh john john the methodist do it bid for control uh, do it <laughs> Do it. Uh, well, you're bidding for control, sir. 
we been I, I wouldn't before we've been yes, control, can been. I just say I wouldn't recommend that? Oh, no, no, no. We're bidding oh. right right as soon as he says, let's take it out and settle with, with irons. All right. Uh, hold on. Waiting for the bidding, bidding, bidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Johnny Law, you win the bid. Yep. <laughs> yes. I knew it. I knew it. It's who we need. Sheriff Alt. I'll, I'll take you up on that challenge, Sheriff, because you got to understand. No, that's not the Sheriff. That's Rico. Guy. That's Rico. Oh, Rico said that? Excuse me. Yeah, Rico. I'll take you up on that, Rico, because you got to understand. The Sheriff here, he's in charge of man's law, but I'm a man of God, and by extension, I'm a man of God's law. I'm going to take you out front. But we're not going to just have any old normal sissy gunfight. Any two idiots fight on just stand up and stand or point our guns at each other and shoot. No, we're going to ride our horses the opposite end of town. We're going to come at each other guns blazing and see who comes out ahead. We don't have a horse. No, 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 no. The sheriff, the sheriff is just like, he's like, no, we are, we are not, we are not. No, Rico, you need to back down because we are not riding horses through the town shooting all over. I, this is not, this is not going to happen. Rico, you back down. Matter of fact, Rico, Jake, I'm going to talk to you in a few minutes. I'll meet you out in the back alley. Just go. Just go. I'll handle this John person here. Should we go out with them, too? <laughs> I follow just... Rico right out the back door. <laughs> no, 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 right. Sheriff, you got to leave this in my hands now. It's in, it's, Sheriff, I'm sorry, but it's in God's hands. And I, I walk out the back after Rico. Johnny uh, Law, uh, we have all right. to protect Jasmine. All right. Uh, uh, all right, then. Wait, wait, let me ask you one question. How good are you at shooting? Rico's pretty good. I don't, I hope you don't. I hope you don't. Between you and me, Sheriff, I, pretty good. Okay, well, I, you know, I don't want you killing us. If you're really good, I hope you don't kill my friend. He is a good friend of mine. Uh, Any motions towards the door? We just bring bringing him one step closer to God. Johnny Law, I would, as as I would as you walk out, the, as you, you you walk around the corner, out the back door into the alleyway. As you walk out the back door into the alleyway, uh, you are hit across the the head with a t with a board. Uh, Jake punches you in the gut, and the sheriff then subdues you. And the last thing you remember before everything fades away is uh, is 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 them kicking the crap out of you. Uh, and you wake up in jail, bid for control. Those who did, who lost, if you don't have 10, you, you gain one. All right. Uh, I need a second bid from John the Methodist and from uh, Doc Farnsworth. Now in the past, Corey, didn't we just roll a d6 and whoever got the higher roll on the tie? No, bids? we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna add more. Okay. This is in addition to. This is in addition to what you just bid. All right. So it looks like uh, uh, Doc's Farnsworth, you are in control as you wake up in a jail cell in uh, right. in Montclair. Valley jail. All right. <laughs> now that now that these idiots aren't in control anymore, who else is in I, here? With I beg me? to differ. I don't think that's well. I you're the reason we're in jail. Call. You took off your pants and go to got on your knees. <laughs> so, I got on my knees. I did not. Who take else off is in pants. here with me? I took off um, pants. So in the in, 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 Johnny Law is in here with you. So, so in the in in the cell next to you is a is a uh, a person who obviously drank too much, um, and and they're 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 kind of nodding off as as you wake up. Um, I'm gonna do a quick check on him and see if he looks okay. Slash check his pockets. Uh, okay, so you reach through the bars. Um, uh, give me give me a give me a roll there. Uh, to to check his pockets. Uh, five. All right. Um. Well, you 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 find 
you, you find a key in his pockets mm. as well as a, uh, a couple of silver dollars. Okay. Um, uh, this gentleman is obviously um, intoxicated, correct? Yes, yes. Uh, does he have any bruises on him or anything? Um, nope. Nope, he's just he drank too much. He's he's kind of well dressed. Um Okay. Yep. Uh yeah, I'm going to look in my pockets. Do I have any kind of uh medicine or um uh, snake oil that kind of thing in my pockets? A gun. So, you do have a you do have a bag which is sitting outside the jail cell uh sitting next to your uh your um gun belt. Um yeah. just kind of a and and in that bag, you know that there's medicine stuff. There's a Bible. Uh, there's a deck of cards. Okay. Um, some other uh, assorted things that we haven't defined yet. So I am going to uh, go over. Is there any? There, the sheriff is he in here, like watching me actively or no? No, there's nobody in here but you and this uh, this this drunken gentleman in the next cell. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that that uh, key and I'm gonna try to like first of all see if it unlocks the lock and when it doesn't. I'm going to try and pick the lock uh, using the pieces of it. All right. All right. Um, so, yeah, go get, go ahead and give me another roll there. Four. All right. Um, the, the, it takes you about 20 minutes as you're jiggling the lock. And as it clicks, you hear, hey, hey, you over there. Yes. You, you, you let me out, too. Name's Slim. Absolutely. Slim, bucket absolutely slim. slim. Slim, what are you doing in jail? What got you here? I had a little bit too much last night at the saloon. Lost a little bit of money. I see. Gained I a see. little bit of money on some cards, and learned a yeah. secret that I will share with you if you get me yeah. out of here. Absolutely, I'll go no, no, grab. No, 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 he's drunk and disorderly. We got to get him locked up. Mm, gotta it's not your turn. Locked up. Got to lock up the criminals. <laughs> I'm in control now. <laughs> <laughs> I go and. Grab if, my bag. If there's any way that we can make him repent, though. <laughs> oh, sure. I'll go and grab my bag and uh, look for keys and see if I can unlock Slim and let him out. Yeah, there's there's ski- keys, like, hanging on a hook yeah. at the edge of the desk. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll unlock the door. I'll walk in and go, first of all, like, you look a little poorly. Uh, I can tell the hangover is strong. Yeah. Uh, and I'll pull some of my uh, tonic out and I'll say, here, if you drink this, um, Be safe. it'll make you feel better. Uh, now it is going to cost you just a little, but you know uh, everybody needs a little walking around money. Am I right? One yeah, time. yeah. All right. Yeah. That's, that's, sure. He reaches in. Oh, sure. Oh man, that, that sheriff and his goons take all. My... Fucking Rico. Uh... Oh, I didn't. I didn't take his money. Oh, you didn't take his money. I only took the key. Yeah. Oh, you only took the key. Okay. Yeah. Oh, then he hands you. He's like, "All I got is a silver dollar." I. I, I thank I, you. No, a dollar? I, Do you know I, how much a dollar is worth in the old west? <laughs> we'll make we'll make change. I tell you what. What if I throw in a Bible? We don't need it. But no, I I also think that there, that you have to remember you're not just paying for the medicine and the medical care. You're also paying for getting you out of jail. You know I what? I you. you're you're the you're the just the type of person I I need to share the secret with because you know what? Tell. What's your name? It's, uh, my name is my name is Doc Johns Farnsworth. Uh, Doc Johns John Farnsworth. I'm yes. Slim. They call me Bucket Slim. And it's because I Bucket Slim. Yeah, I got the unfortunate job of um, hauling the buckets out of the mine. Right. The the, the buckets that you know the miners used to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, so you, that, yeah. and you might ask why I'm dressed so nicely. Well, you see, yeah, I was I was gonna marry Jasmine. I went to propose at the saloon, and oh, well, she uh, she didn't she didn't take kindly to that proposal. <laughs> so I spent all, everything I got on the on the suit, and but I did figure out something. And he looks, you see the sheriff anywhere? I don't know what's up. Okay, well, see, the sheriff and his goons, they robbed the Wells Fargo that was going going by Montclair Valley. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, the 
they it stashed somewhere. Um, oh. And I don't know where, but it, it he's got he's got the he's he's got a lot. Of, and and I tell you what, uh, I'll help you if uh, if we split it. Or I mean, if we split the reward money, dot sure, Farnsworth. Sure. Uh, I tell you, I'm also going to need some medicine before we leave town. Do you know where we might get some medicine that would help us sleep? Uh, we, yeah, yeah. Oh, and here, can I try that? Yeah, yeah, and All then right. I'll. It, does he give me the money as well? Yeah, he gives you. He gives you silver dollar. Or uh, I put and, it in my pocket. And uh, he, how much should Our I? Pocket. How much should I have? And you hand him like a little, like, tonic vial. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just drink the whole thing. All right, and he drinks and drinks and drinks. Give me a d six. Oh, no. Yeah, I have no idea if that's gonna kill him. Oh. <laughs> Four. Four. Good All doctor. right, and bid for control. I'm a doctor. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I'm for philosophy. A bid for control. Um. Everybody in? Yep. All right. Uh, John the Methodist and Johnny Law, give me an additional bid. Everybody else just recovers uh, a... Everybody else recovers uh, a willpower. Okay. Great. Great to know. And sorry I stepped away. Annie fell in the hole. Oh, no. Give me an additional bid. This guy is so lucky I didn't retain control. <laughs> I was going to shoot him. <laughs> no! Wow. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh boy. We're just going to kill people just, you know, because we can. All right. Um <laughs> uh, John the 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 Methodist, you are in control. Did you take back a bid? <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Definitely should not I... kill them. I, I don't think I've done anything incorrect, John the Methodist, but while I've got your attention, before we leave here, you should definitely get in the gun closet and get our gun back. Oh, I plan on it. Don't worry. Oh, I, I think I have the gun. Yeah, yeah. It was just sitting on the counter right out. Yeah. Yeah, there, yeah, it was just sitting on the counter by the bag. No, I was about I to shoot this man. I have the gun. Uh, <laughs> while, while John, the man... John the Methodist, before we leave, you should make sure the gun is loaded. Yeah, test it out on that guy. Don't shoot the guy, but I mean, definitely. I'll take put him back holster. together. <laughs> take take him out of the holster and make sure there's ammo in it, because if it's empty, we're going to have a problem. However, uh, how is the man reacting to the tonic? Um, he's, 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 he, he looks poorly, but he looked poorly a minute ago, so. Does he look yeah. more poorly or just normal poorly? Uh, he looked pretty bad a minute ago, so he doesn't look any worse, if that's what you mean. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Uh, by the way, once you've bid and you lose, you do you don't have to spend the ones you've bid, and you also gain one. So just remember that. Uh, y y yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> climbing out of that hole. Poor poorly, my new phrase. <laughs> all right. Poor poorly. Uh, all right. So um, yeah, let's go find that medicine for you. And, and he he takes you out into the street. You guys, you know, kind of. Go Wait, around I, I into an... the gun to make sure I've got some sort of ammunition in there. Oh yeah, they left it fully loaded, sitting on the counter. They are dumb as a sack of bricks. Um, and uh, so yeah, you make your way, and he 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 goes into a um, what looks like but there's a big wooden coffin outside. Um, and he goes in, and uh, he goes good, good. Uh. Joseph is not here, so you know. Um, I guess just leave him, leave him something on the counter, and take what you need. I'll keep a lookout. All right, I appreciate it. Uh, so he'll, I'll, I'll walk in. All right. Uh, John will actually. Does John have any kind of face covering by chance, or like a kerchief on his neck that I could possibly? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think, sure. Why not? Why not? Um. 
Alrighty. It is dusty out here in the plains of Montclair Valley. <laughs> Keep in mind, like, I'm the doctor. I take care of the body. Like, we need to get some medicine while we're here in case something happens to us. I plan on getting I mean, we, we got beaten up pretty dang good. So we I, did. I would certainly like some, some medicine as well, even though I know the power of healing from God is above all. Yeah, but absolutely. Medicine is, is also a product of God. Do you want me to tell you what you're looking for? I would be lovely. Uh, opium is anything containing opium <laughs> is going to be a, it's going to be in a, it's going to be in, it's wait remember this is the old west this is a very common medicine no i i'm not oh, disagreeing oh, oh, laudanum. like just find a gallon of laudanum yeah, it, it, laudanum, it laudanum, laudanum laudanum is opium <laughs> yeah but that's what it would be called, it would be called yeah laudanum. yeah laudanum we need that and some bandages maybe but this um, is the same doctor who apparently is not much of a doctor he's just heard of laudanum I didn't know. I'm actually a doctor. I didn't have anything else to help this guy. What am I supposed to do for him? Doctor Farnsworth, not Farnsworth. I, no, yeah. I, he's a little skeptical about your medical advice, sir. <laughs> no, I can tell you. Do you want me to give you the listing of some anatomy right now? Hip no, bone connection. <laughs> see to the arm see bone. what all the bones are connected to. That's okay. The arm bone's connected to the toe bone. How about you, Lucky John? I mean, would you take this doctor's advice if you weren't? Married to this doctor in real life? I've kept this going for this long. God I has mean, also been got I mean, he, think, he does think that the toe bone is connected to the arm bone. That's not what I it's don't know. You can't prove uh, that. that. That is what I heard as well. You can't prove that, though. Yeah. I uh, think we would be fairly certain we can go back on this stream another time and listen back. Yeah. Well, we can't because we're just voices. We're eldritch abominations hey, in this hey, man. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. Hurry, hurry, hurry up. Yeah, uh, grab, I, I grab got, the laudanum. I got to go. I got to go. Like, real bad. I can't keep it. We'll look out. I got to I gotta go. I got to go right now. He runs out the door. <laughs> That's the only real medicine in the West. <laughs> There's bandages, disinfectant, and laudanum. That's it. That's all we got. Hot water. Somebody get hot water. <laughs> oh, while he runs off. Um, there's, there's, sorry, you said there's no one in the in the shop in the uh, I guess medicine the store right now for whatever. Uh, there's a silver yeah. dollar in our pocket. You can pay him with that. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll put that on the counter and say I need all the bandages and laudanum and disinfectant that that can offer. All right, so you you grab a bunch of bandages, uh, put them in your bag. You grab uh, two vials of laudanum, put them in your bag, uh, and um, and some just alcohol just uh, that spirits. you probably just wouldn't want to drink. <laughs> yeah, alcohol is a disinfectant. That'll work. Yeah, it'll yeah. work just fine. Definitely get the alcohol. Uh, how much and there's I mean, there's also there's also on the counter as you're t taking the stuff there's also a little thing that looks like it's got like little shrunken heads in it. Um, oh, I want that too. Yeah, I, I, I want that also, just for. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get that. Uh, you should totally that. get that. Nope. Get all of the trunk and heads. Nope. Uh, okay, there seems, seems to be a lot of disagreement going on here. Um, bid for control. <laughs> And as you're bidding for control, outside you hear, "Oh shit! I didn't make it. My new suit." <laughs> mm, tonic or diamond? Really <laughs> yes, James. That's a good point. So I'll, I'll have them bid for control, and then we're gonna take a short break, and um, and we're gonna give away the the, the four prizes we have to give away. Uh, from last week's fundraiser that uh, we didn't give away. So um, I'll let uh, dance break. Yep, dance break. So I will uh, let James run the giveaway in chat. Um, James, I gave you the wrong command. It's exclamation point winner. <laughs> Perfect, because I need to close the door because I can hear Matt in the background behind me. All right. So yeah, exclamation point winner in chat to, to, to get in the drawing. Is that what it is? No, that will just that roll the name Elf Alexander one. We're doing the, the since there's a smaller group, okay. a smaller number of prizes, we're using just Nightbot. <laughs> okay. Just be active in chat when we're doing giveaways and everything should be fine. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So let me look here. Did you guys all bid? Yeah. All right. So it it, it looks like uh uh, Doc Farnsworth is in control. No. 
Yes. Doc Farnsworth is in control. Yeah. Um, Doc See, Farnsworth so what, will... what I'm what I'm learning about Lucky John is Lucky John is very conservative for a gambler. Yes. All of these bids are very low. <laughs> I think Lucky John is concerned about actually having to take control of the body. Oh, it's nerve wracking at times. Uh, I uh, love it. Uh, all right, Doc, you're you're in control and. Uh, as he comes walking back in, he's like got a tear in his eye. Uh, he smells horrible. And um, what do you do? Yeah, um, great. Medicine is working as it's supposed to. It's purging all of the poisons from your body. Um, everything is going great. Um, <laughs> oh, is is it? This is my last. I spent everything on this suit. We we got to get that reward, my friend. We got to get that reward. I see. I see. I'm gonna. Um, I, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go home. And I'll meet you later, back behind, uh, back behind Joseph's shop. Uh, Hang on just a second. Okay. I have I I've got something else for you here. Here, let me give you some, some. Uh, <clears throat> here, and I'll look behind the counter and see if there's anything for diarrhea. Um. Uh, no. Uh, uh, not 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 that you can no. Okay. Uh, Milk, I'll just maybe. take a random bottle. <laughs> Okay. I'll just take a random bottle then and uh, I'll be like, here, uh, take this and um, here, I'll make some change and we'll just here and I'll like see what the price is and I'll I'll give this to him and I'll um, leave, break the silver dollar if the cash register is there and leave him some some money. But I'll take a small cut as well uh, because, you know, don't forget, you've got to get all the trunken heads. Oh yeah, that's coming. But I have to treat him and get some money for treating him. Oh, those little godly things. Hold on, wait a second, Matt. You, you don't have any prunes? I don't. I don't have any prunes. Um, it's but yeah, I'm just. I, I don't know if that helps you diarrhea. I think it actually diarrhea. gives you diarrhea. Yeah, I don't know. This bottle looks like it'll probably help. Okay. I'll just give him that. <laughs> it has a skull and crossbones on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. Yeah. Arsenic. That sounds right. I was just it's for his arse. It's for. <laughs> Arse. It's got arse in it. Arse Nick. Stop the oh, arse it's from pouring. Yeah, it's, it's what we it's do. The arse. It, it, yeah. it licks the arse in the bud. That's yeah. Where you're going with uh, but I'll take a, Corey, I'll take a small percentage of that. Just a little bit of medical treatment fee on that one as well. All right. And I'll all leave, right. I'll leave Jane. Oh my God. Um, all right. Uh, and I need to stop by the saloon before we leave. Um, I've got some unfinished well, I, business to take care of that. I, I need to Okay. Also. All right. So you guys had... So John heads to the saloon. We're taking the heads as well. We're putting oh, those in the all bag. All right, all right. Put those in the bag. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, now, now your bag is very heavy at this point. You have got a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. in there. Uh, you, you've taken your your old, you know, your extra shirt and your pants and whatnot, and and kind of fit them so that the bottles don't clank too much together. Um, yeah. But but this 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 bag is pretty pretty loaded down. All right. Okay. So you head to the saloon. Um, a horse. Be, get a horse to carry the bag. Why are we carrying the bag? You have a horse carry the bag. We don't have any money. We have a llama. Oh, we do have a little bit of money. Yeah, I mean, just take a horse. We're poisoning people and breaking out of jail. Take a. Take a <laughs> I don't know that we poisoned him. That could have been John the right medicine. As our witness, <laughs> we cannot steal a horse. Look, I have to go. Preacher, oh, you should be horse. with me on this. You should be our with horse. me on this, preacher. We'll pay him back later. That poor courtesan is being controlled and held captive by these men who are bank robbers, we have to get her out of here. Don't disagree. And we apparently love her. Yeah, she's a wonderful girl. One of us does. You apparently love her. So we much kissed so her. Took... Oh, uh, I didn't well, kiss we don't her. remember kissing her. We remember kissing her. Well, I do. <laughs> um, I remember somebody kissing Jake. Yeah. Yeah. Rico. I, I think Rico. 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 Uh, but, yeah, we need to... Let's stop in and let's get Jasmine and get her out of here. You liked it. You're definitely going to need a horse. What, we're going to run out of town with Jasmine yeah. and heavy dress? Well, we, can, we, can we need two the, horses. We can steal the courtesan and then we can steal the horse on the way out. you got to have the horse waiting when you run out the door. You can't run out the door with a horse. It's a saloon. <laughs> it's a saloon. There's horses around out here. We'll just grab them. How are you the law, John? <laughs> just need to know. It's a law, God. I mean, I think we've seen plenty of things happen lately that make it clear that the law is whatever 12 people want to make it out to be. 
So, so I'll walk into I'm gonna, the. Uh, I'm gonna go with the law of God here. This dirty one. I'll walk into the. Uh, I, I do appreciate the, saloon. the, the law tavern. Of God being All right. Your guy as you life. as you walk into the saloon, you, you see Jasmine uh, at the end of the bar. There's a, a a bunch of other people. You do not see Rico, Jake, or uh, uh, Lee sure. Smith, Sheriff Lee Smith. I'll look at Jasmine. And go, come on, come on. You talking to anybody? I'll reach in my pocket and pull out the money that I got, and I'll. Kind of jingle the money at her. Hey girl, come here. <laughs> and she like walks. Okay. She walks, goes up some stairs, and in and uh, and up in up into uh, a, a up into a room up the stairs. And um, uh, yeah, I'll follow her. And as you're walking through the tavern, um, <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Uh, well, it wouldn't really be a sub a seductive look i mean this this girl's a little scared um uh i, I think it, she's not trying to seduce john she's really worried about what's going to happen there james i, I don't yeah <laughs> we've given trying. her no reason to feel unsafe around us whatsoever <laughs> well i mean you guys have but the sane ones of us have so as you as you or something as you're walking through the tavern uh there's a there's a card game going on and uh there's 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 a guy um uh, who who uh, who's got a, a, a gray mustache, a gray beard, uh, a a black hat, and a little bolo tie, and uh, he's like, I wouldn't do that if I was you. Have a seat. Why not? Um. Well, I can name a number of reasons, but uh, you'll get up, you'll get more out of playing at this table and let me take your money than you would. Giving your money to her, I'll just, I'll just t- tell you that. Okay, so he's, all right. So he's gonna give us a blowjob. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for the advice, and I'll just keep going upstairs. <laughs> all right, uh, you get to the top of the stairs. Um, she's got the door cracked, and uh, she's, she's like, "What's your name?" You know, it's, it's me, John Doc Johns Farnsworth. Doc. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh. What? What you got? What you got for me? Look, I want to take you away from all this. I've got a big. I've got a big payday coming up, and I see how they treat you here, and it's not fair. So. And so maybe you would want to. And and she's trying her best. She's a little terrified. She's you know you've you've already taken off your clothes and, and kissed her boyfriend, um, and uh, so she's a little skeptical. And she's like, well, maybe, maybe you could show me just uh, how you'd treat me different. And she's still sure. holding her hand out. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll put all the money that I got in her hand. All right. And she pulls her hands and slams the door, and you hear a bar goes across the back of the door. Uh oh. I'll draw my gun. <laughs> Your bid turn, for, Johnny Law. Bid for control. <laughs> uh, Corey, I'm just going to tell you, I'm not bidding anything. <laughs> just going to go ahead and recover. <laughs> you bidding right now? Bid, bid. Oh, boy. See, I created a situation for you, Johnny Law. I appreciate that. You make the most of it. Oh. Yes, unless, yes. Unless... Jo- Johnny Law did win that bid. <laughs> oh, you know, I actually bad. tried to like bid well this time. Johnny Law wanted that one. Bad. Bid. <laughs> no. He, he, he did enough. Ball. Just the thing, though. I'm like... standing there. I'm standing there, faced with this door. I've already got my gun drawn. There's only one thing I can do. Fire so anyway, I fire three rounds through the door to break that cross member that's blocking the door. I kick the door down and I charge in and say, "Unhand that whore." So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> so, all right, so so uh, give me a uh, yeah, give me a gunfighting check. Go ahead. <laughs> you got that skill? Well, maybe you do, maybe you don't. But roll a d6 anyway. All right, stand by. I go to my d6 roller. <laughs> all the check. Uh, best. Oh uh, no! What, what, what was what was that number? One. Oh! Oh! Okay. Well. Oh no! All right. So Johnny Law shoots three holes in the door, one at the top of the door, one that might hit the cross member, and one at the bottom of the door, and then 
throws his shoulder into the door, clocks his head against the door, and falls right back into the hallway, holding his head. He got those bandages. And shouts, unhand that horror. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear screaming from within the door. Oh my god! Oh, he's trying to kill Don't me! Don't call her a whore, she's a lady. He's my aunt. she's trying to kill me! Um, and, uh, You hear footsteps running up the stairs. What do you do? I, I turn you to, uh, to Lucky John. Turn, I turn to face the top of the stairs, and I say, I'm here to bring God's law to Montclair Valley. I don't know if I appreciate the use of God or not. <laughs> oh, no, Lucky Preacher John. In charge, but I leave my pants on. So <laughs> that is Preacher. true. There's, there's, this is the right All thing right. to do. Remember, so, remember when Rahab, the a man of God, was instructed to marry a whore, to from the orders of God. Remember, we have to redeem this woman. So depending on who comes up the stairs, I may. So the um I'll, I'll the, the guy you saw from behind the bar comes running up the stairs with a uh, Winchester rifle, and he's pointing it in your direction. I don't know who you are. And he uses a you know derogatory term, um, but John. but you need to drop that right now. Five. And we drop her pants. Four. Pants? Three. <laughs> bid for control. Oh shit! Um. All right. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, got it. Oh. Uh, where's I I don't think I'm getting this, but. I don't think I need anything. Oh, All right. Apologies. All right, Lucky John, you are in control. Oh, yes. Yay. Literally can't Okay, okay, Three, so he has a gun on me? Three, two, one. What do you do? Okay, so he has a gun on me, right? Yep, yep, yep. Um, okay, uh. A gun on him, too, though. Hey, why don't, why don't we gamble for this? Yep. Uh, do you drop the gun first? Shot? Why don't we like play some cards? I wonder what so, do, you, do, do, do you lower the gun first or drop the gun? Should, uh, no, I'm gonna keep it up. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm gonna keep it oh, up. Boy, I'm gonna keep it up. Shot. We're getting shot so quickly. All right. Oh, yeah. So give me, give me a, give me a, uh, give me a some kind of some kind of persuasion. I, I yeah, you're trying to let's play cards. It's called a bullshit right. artist. Awesome. I, it's it's gonna be an awesome persuasion. Oh no! Uh, it is, it's a that's two. A, oh, that's oh. twice as good as I did. <laughs> All right, um, it, John, you, you you feel something hit your shoulder real hard, and you go flying back into the hallway, and and you drop the gun um, because it hit you in your gun hand shoulder, and as you're flying back into the hallway uh, uh, with the the Winchester round in your shoulder, you're saying, let's play some cards and you fall yeah. back. Um, play some cards. Uh, so you're, you're, you're you got, you got a, you, you're, you're bleeding from the shoulder. The, uh, the door opens and, um, Jasmine falls into the hallway. Help me, Carl. Is she dead? And okay. she's, she's got a bullet in her side. She's been gut shot. Oh, oh no. And Carl says, "Oh no, Jasmine!" And he, and he, he you know, he, he tell him we're a doctor. Leans the Winchester up against the wall. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. You're, you're what? I'm a doctor. We're a doctor and a priest. <laughs> Our Methodist and a priest. So if you die, I can give you the last rites, and I can also heal you. You can. Can you're you? Can you, can you? Can you fix Jasmine? She's been gut shot. We can try. We can, I can try. Control. All right. So first of all, you got to fix yourself. Um, you, you, you're, you're bleeding from the shoulder yeah. there, John. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to take, uh, I probably have, I will, we said I have a handkerchief. I'm going to hang it, take a handkerchief and like try to wrap it around where I'm bleeding, like my shoulder. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, 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 and as, as, as you look to the shoulder, of course, everybody in John's head can see what's going on. Um, give, everybody can, can roll to see how bad it is and, and see if they know how bad this is. Well, I rolled a six. I rolled a two, so no. I just think you know it's a flesh wound. A four is a flesh no, it's, wound. It's it's totally a flesh wound. It's not bad at all. It's but a scratch. All right, I got a six, so I know exactly how bad all right. it is. All right, 
All right. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, those, yeah, uh, you guys are like, it's just a flesh wound. Just, oh, yeah, it's, it's not even bleeding that much. Um, but uh, Doc Farnsworth thinks, I'm going to lose this arm. Oh, crap. I'm going to lose this arm. Guys, you have to let me have control. It's bad. It's not even bleeding, though. It's a flesh wound. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not, not bleeding. That's because it's in trouble. But I want to play oh. cards. <laughs> We, we gotta fix Jasmine. Go stuff like one of those shrunken heads in her in her in her gut shot hole there. I, I well, I I have to like have control to do medicine. Oh, anybody can stuff a t- stuff a tough. All right, bid for control. How... <laughs> yeah. Boy. One. <laughs> um. Carl leans his uh, Winchester uh, against the railing of the stairs. He and Jasmine are still between you and the Winchester. Your gun is is at his feet. Um, and, and he's holding Jasmine just to kind of set the scene of what's going on here. And let me look here. Everybody bid? Yes. I'm not going to bid. I'm going to. Okay. I could. Right. No, just what? wanted to make sure. Cause one of these looks exactly the same as last time. All right. So doc Farnsworth, you are now in control and everybody else regains yeah. a, uh, a, a willpower. Oh yeah. I couldn't have bid anyways. No. Oh. Well, first of all, I'm going to look at this dirty, filthy handkerchief that she stuffed in the sink, <laughs> and I'm going to take some of the new bandages that we got. The clean bandages that we bought. <laughs> oh, I forgot that we had the bandages. You know, the antiseptic and bandages that we bought. Why are we not talking about the shrunken heads? <laughs> I don't know. They're not important right now. We're dying. Honestly, we could have just had the bandages right. You know, why don't we just put a little bit of arsenic on them? Just, you know, yeah. Uh, you kill I mean, the bacteria that, that way, right? Is fun. the sheriff injured at all? Uh, it's not the sheriff. It's the bartender. Is the bartender bartender's okay though? Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, okay. you didn't even get a shot uh, off with with your terrible terrible roll there. He he just shot you. I'm I'm gonna take a look at her and see how she's doing. All right. Uh, well, give me give me your give me your. Uh, oh, we'll count that as your yeah. So now you look at her and give me another another roll for medicine. Yeah. Uh, four. All right. So, uh, yeah, she's gut shot, um, but it doesn't look like, it, based on the smell, it, it probably just went right through. Um, so, you know, a little, little bit of uh, alcohol, uh, you know, a, a bandage, it, you know, keep it from bleeding. Uh, she'll, she'll be all right because it's, it's, it's basically yeah. just went in yeah. and went out on the side. Uh, she thinks yeah. she's dying, of course, but no, she, she's much better off than you are. Um, yeah, uh, I'll look at her and say, this is pretty serious. Uh, this is going to take some real doing uh, and some real, uh, some real like care, tender, loving care, which luckily I love you. So, um, but like I said, why don't you, why don't you let me, why don't you let me take you away from all this, all this danger and gunshots? And then I'll say, here, I need You're some You're the one that back. shot me. <laughs> I'll turn to the bar t- tender and say, we need you, I need you to run and go get some medicine. All right, I'll go to Joseph's. What do you need? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna need uh, a bunch of bandages, uh, some more laudanum, and I'm gonna need uh, uh, a penny. Uh, copper neutralizes this. Um. Uh, uh, okay. He picks up his Winchester. He picks up your Colt, and uh, goes down the stairs. And uh, as you're tending to Jasmine, um, did he give me a penny? Uh, no. He's he says he'll be back with all that okay. stuff. All right. Uh, then I'll tend to Jasmine and I'll start uh, giving her laudanum and tending to her wounds and all that CPR. stuff. It, give her CPR. You're telling it's me that, that we don't have a penny yeah. anywhere? <laughs> Just like squirting out the gut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll start. I'll start tending to her and doing all that yeah, medicine you, stuff. Yeah, you, you do have work. a penny. You you do have one. You have. A oh, penny. Corey, I don't actually need a penny. I just I... want money. <laughs> <laughs> it was a penny for his thoughts. Hey, it was a penny for my medical expertise. I want to get paid for rendering medical care to a good, a good friend. Um, want to make that money. That but I'm going to try to stabilize her. Remember, guys, if you're ever in a situation where somebody is hurt, if you get them to pay us a little bit of money, I will help you walk them through their medical expertise. Um, so I'm going to start tending to her wounds and all that stuff. Uh, do you need another roll from me? Uh n- No, no. You, you got, you got okay. a four on, on doing medical care on her. All right, okay. so... Um, what do you do now? Here, here uh, she's 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 stable. She's gonna be fine. Yeah, 
Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> Making it look really urgent. I'm like, please, Jasmine, just if you would just do me the honor of being my wife, then I will take you away from all of this. We'll set up a practice. We'll have a house full of kids, and your dreams will come true. What are you? We'll have. We'll have. Uh, uh, I'll give her a little bit of laudanum. You're gonna. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We'll help with the pain. Just a little bit. She's in, she's in pain. She's, so she's she starts to relax after about five minutes. Um, yeah. And 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 then she's she's like, "What? You take take me away for? I yeah. don't. I I'll get I, you a what, house with a white picket what's fence. What's your What's your name? Doctor like John Farnsworth. Doctor sure Doctor John. Doctor. John. Roofing John I'm not roofing her. I'm keeping her out of pain. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, are you, you're, you're I don't, I don't here. really want, I don't really <laughs> want any, I don't really want any kids. All right. Well, just think about uh, it. Okay. I, you know, I did save your life. Yeah, I do. I do. I, I'd love a little house just... up, up and in, in, out and with a little garden. Yeah. And, and I love, I'd, I'd love a husband. Yeah, I'd love a husband I... that doesn't kiss men. Honestly, John, you know what that was? You know what that was? While he, w- while we did that, I took all the bullets out of his gun. Oh, wow! Yeah. You got quick hands. I know, I know. Uh, it's from the surgery. Figuratively speaking. Oh, okay. Uh, well, that's lying. Then, then, then let's <laughs> let's let's get let's get. Uh... I tell you what, I'll come back later with some money, and we're gonna do this right. Wait, yeah, okay, okay. Right. can you leave that with me? And she points to the bottle. I'm feeling much better after that stuff. Oh, yeah, absolutely, sure. I've got another bottle of laudanum coming. I'm acquiring right. more opium. I'm going to I'm gonna go back in here. I'm going to bar my door, and you yes. come back when you have the money to take me away from all yes. of this. Yes, and we'll have, we'll have a happily ever after. Sure we will. For all of the Johns. John, and don't, just don't, don't go, don't go kissing Rico. Okay. I won't. He was very upset to, by that. He was very. Do you want me to was, shoot Rico? N- no, you couldn't. You couldn't do that. He'd kill you. I mean, okay. I just. I mean, I, you just got shot by Carl, and he's a terrible shot. I see. Uh, I'm gonna where, go downstairs. Shot? Since she locked herself in, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go downstairs and grab a bottle of whiskey while the bartender's still going to grab stuff. Yep. Yep. And I'm gonna take this arsenic and pour it in, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> In the bottle of whiskey? Yes. Okay. And then put it in our bag. All right, all right, all right. Just in case. She said we can't kill Rico. What if we need to actually kill Rico? All right, all right. So, so, uh, um, do you hang out for Carl to come back? Yes, I'm waiting. All all right. Carl comes back and he's got some stuff and he's in in a little wooden crate and he sets it there. So, what, here's all the stuff you need and then he gives you a penny. Yes. Thank you. Um, yeah, I uh, thank you for the service fee. I um, I used what I had in my bag, so I'm just going to replenish my stock off of this, and I'm going to leave him one of the bottles of laudanum. He got a little bit of laudanum, and be like, if she gets painful, give her this. Um, well, I'll give him. I'll leave him all the laudanum that, that he brought, and say if she gets uh, painful, give her this and can rewrap I, can those. Can I ask a, a question, sir? Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. Why'd you shoot her in the first place? You see what happened was is I pulled my gun out and I was showing I was going to show it to her. And then the damn trigger is has always been like really weird on this gun and the damn thing just went off in my hand. 3 times? Uh, so, 3 times. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like I think somebody I think the gunsmith like screwed me when we bought this gun. Like as a matter of fact, you better let me have the and gun back. Who was so I can take it to be Who destroyed. was who was manhandling her? Who's manhandling her? Yeah. Uh, you, 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 I heard three Rico. shots, and then I heard Rico. unhand that whore. Oh, yeah, I got confused. I thought Rico had her. Um, no, Rico went to the mine. Oh, see, I got confused because I heard her scream, and I was like, oh, sh- like, shit. Like, somebody's got her. Um, but thank God I was here uh, and that everything is fine now. So... You know, we're well, good. You, you need to get that looked at, and he points at, at your shoulder. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. It's it's gonna be. It, it's not good though. I should probably take a look at that now that I've made sure of Jasmine, and I'm gonna try to tend right, my own bit, wounds bit, because bit, I know it's bit bad for control. 
Oh god. <laughs> you guys want to doctor yourselves? Uh, um. Oh boy. I'm not gonna win. No monies. You should have some. Yeah, yeah sorry I have to keep stepping away. The dog keeps one. falling in the freaking hole. Is, is everybody in? I'm in. Everybody's yes. got their bid. Del oh, yep. Delivering. All right, Johnny Law, you got control. Oh no! I didn't know that was really <laughs> gonna happen. Carl's the uh, Carl's the bartender. Yep. Carl, Carl, I'm gonna need some hot water because I need to make a poultice. For my shoulder. So I nope. need a rag and I need some hot water. That's not what we need. Yeah, All right. Okay. And he's he goes back into the back, um, and you you and comes back out with a tea kettle. He's like, it's uh, sort of hot. Is that all right? It just needs to be sort of hot. All right. And uh, nope, he pours it. very, very pours hot. Some, he, pours he, some of that he, in a cup. He pours it into a glass. It, there's a all little right, bit of whiskey in the glass like, when you poured it in. That's okay. Whiskey's good. So give me, give me a towel. I, I'm going to need your help, Carl. And he hands you the bar towel. It's all disgusting. Right. I, take one of the, I take one of the shrunken heads. I stuff it and wrap it in the towel. And I stick it in the glass okay. so it can get good and soggy. Oh, no. I say, Carl, I need you to bind this against my shoulder. Or I'm injured. This is incredibly unhygienic. <laughs> I mean, it probably has some formaldehyde in it. Was that one of Joseph's heads you just pulled out there? What kind of voodoo? Dumb, you dumb bitch. Do you know doctor? Hey, do you know doctor? Do you know doctor stuff, Carl? Carl, are you the doctor here? Carl, who just fixed the nice lady upstairs? Who just had you go get all the drugs? Are you gonna listen to all, doctor, all, doctor? all right, all right, all right, all right. Say, hold still, hold still. And he takes the thing and he pushes it against your shoulder, and rubs it and tie, in. Tie another rag, you know. Tie another rag around it. Tie a knot so it doesn't fall off. All right, all right. And he ties it. He goes there. You, there you go. And he pats it. It hurts like hell. Oh, all right, excellent. <laughs> Appreciate that. Now, if you wouldn't mind just tucking that thing into my belt because now I can't use my right arm, and uh, I gotta go run some errands. All right. If she gets, if she gets, like I said. She gets all painful. You give her some of that there laudanum. Sell her right down. Oh, oh, walk oh. out the door. All right, you walk out the door. Uh, with one hand, like, in your belt with a shrunken one head. stuffed into my belt, yep, and the other hand, useful. All I right. Oh, it, 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 holding your bag, because your other laudanum. hand's carrying your bag. She's going to be yeah, dead. Well, we're gonna, I'm going to hang the bag on a horse and... Uh, Need two horses around back and go meet back at Joe's. Gonna go meet that uh, the guy that. Uh, all right, all right. Doctor, uh, met in prison. All right, so you go back to meet Slim. You got you got two horses um, that you just stole from the saloon. Uh, um, let's go. Let's go get that money because I'm getting married and I'm gonna have a bunch of kids in a house in the mountains. Yeah. She doesn't want kids, remember? Oh, that's right. We're listening to her. <laughs> yeah. About what she wanted. I get confused sometimes. Yeah, it's about what she wants. If she doesn't want to have kids, we shouldn't pressure her. Right. All right. So, the house in the mountains. Sli Slim's <laughs> like. Give her an applaud, um, she'll like you, you come. You come. You've got your bag hanging off of the, the um. What's the horn? It's something horn, on the. It's the a, horn. The horn of the saddle, saddle horn. horn. Saddle horn. Thank you. Uh, you got your bag hanging off the saddle horn. You got the reins of the other horse. Uh, you got one uh, Palomino horse and one uh, black horse. Um, it, which one are you riding? Uh, whichever one has a rifle on it. Uh, neither has a rifle on it. All right, I'll ride the uh, the black horse. All right, so you got yeah, the Palomino, the and and I, I and I think I am a manifestation of death, so I'll ride the black horse. All right, so you 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 come up, and uh, and Slim says, "You got Sam's horse. You're riding Sam's horse." Oh, hold on, hold on, my bad. Here, switch with me. I'm not riding Sam's horse. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll leave Slam's horse. Sam's horse, and I climb up behind Slim. We'll just leave Sam's horse here. Let's go. Kiss him on the cheek. <laughs> Give him a little peck. Just Don't a little it. one. <laughs> just right in the back of the neck, though. Not in the neck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. The back of the neck is so much That's better. way worse. <laughs> I agree. So Slim Slim starts riding, um, and and you're you're holding on, and you got your bag hung over, and he's he's like, well, he's, he's, he's like, let's get out of town first. Where are we going? 
We gotta go get that money from the place, from the high You find out where it is? I, you said you knew where it was. No, I said that the that the sheriff and his goons stashed it somewhere. Do you know where they stashed it? Oh, the mine. Oh, no, we better, well, then we better go find them. They're at the mine. So let's They're at the, the mine. mine. We'll get the information out of them at the mine. Okay, okay then. Um, all right, so you, you ride right, one horse, go. leave Slim's horse behind the uh, the taxidermist, um, and <laughs> slash Undertaker. <laughs> we went to the same medical school. Ellie's <laughs> brothers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, and, and you ride, and he's like, okay, let's go to the mine. Uh, it's gar- starting to get dark. Um. Oh. And and yeah, we gotta wait for him to come out of the mine, and then we're gonna ambush him. We're gonna we're gonna tie him up. We're not gonna let him go till they tell us where the money is. What? What? You gotta be kidding me! This is your plan? Uh, you got a better plan? Uh, yeah. I, have a plan. I, I I don't I don't think we should try and uh, yeah I really don't think we should try and uh you know ambush the sheriff. And Rico and I mean, if it was just Jake, maybe yeah, you and I, you, you're I mean, you with one arm and 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 me, I mean, my name's Slim. <laughs> I'm not the biggest guy. Um, I I don't know if we can, but hey, hey, you're you're Why the don't you you're offer the, them a drink. You're the mis, you're the mysterious stranger who came into town and got me out of jail. So let's let's uh, I'll take your word for it. We'll we'll figure it out when we get there. And he rides to the mine. Law, John. Johnny Law. Anyway. You know your way around the mine. If there's a better idea when we get there, maybe we'll just sneak in and take what we need. Johnny Law, what if what if we gave them a drink? A, a special party, drink. So I got these voices in my head. <laughs> a special drink, and then we made them bargain for their lives with the information that we need, and we it's tell them that we have the antidote. It's complicated voices in my head, so uh, we'll have to we'll have to reevaluate the plan when we get to the mine. All right, as you're riding, bid for this, control. I got this voice in my head telling me we should be having a drink. It's strange. I want to make sure that they uh, make a confession. Yeah. While they're bidding for control, anybody in oh, stream keeping score? Because I sure haven't been. What are we looking I at? <laughs> uh, anybody? Anybody know? If you if you know, post it in chat. What's the score so far? How many people have got points from their obsessions? Uh, don't don't say why, but just say number of points if you know it. All right. Um, so hard. Let That's me look at fifty. Bid for control here. Uh, uh, Doc and Lucky, give me a second bid. What? <laughs> oh, um. Oh, not Doc. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 Preacher and Lucky, give me a second bid. Oh boy. What if? What if I'm? I mean, I'm out of points, so I can't bid anymore. Uh, oh well, then no, then, then we will just def. You've got at least two. Uh, you've, yeah. You've got two points. Yeah, but if I, I bid two post. points. So you can bid zero on top of two points. Okay. The teacher loves it when that happens. He gets very confused. Yeah, I, I was very oh. confused earlier when that happened. But anyway, and, and no, you can't bid negative numbers. So, <laughs> so Preacher, you're up. You have control. Oh, boy. Oh. Uh, Wait, do I get a point back? Mm-hmm. Everybody gets a point back. You, you don't spend if you don't get control. If you don't win, yeah. If you don't win, you don't lose points, and if you don't win, you actually gain one to yeah. use for later. Mm-hmm. All right, you, he 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 rides up, uh, parks the you know ties the horse up on the uh, outside the mine. There are three other horses tied up outside the mine. Uh, what do you do? That is a great question. Um, so I guess <laughs> first things first, we could, uh, let, let's, sur- let's survey the mine. See your, 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 uh, your right arm's feeling a little numb after that ride. It, I would have assumed every, every bounce and trounce, so just, oh, you know, uh, would you slim, would you mind helping take this first off bandage off my, my shoulder? Sure. Sure. And he goes to do it and he goes, Oh my God. As he sees a shrunken head fall out of the bandage <laughs> and then ask just something goes, I've never yeah. seen before. Gotcha. <laughs> it, you're a prankster, aren't you? <laughs> oh my goodness! No, I'm. I'm, I'm no, he's a dumbass. In shock. That's the problem right now. 
I've been shot. Doctor. So, <laughs> um, Doctor Damn it, I'm a priest. <laughs> um, nice, nice, nice ball. Um, yeah, I am. Oh, we need to get information out of them to figure out where they stashed their uh, money. Money. Um, yeah. It's getting dark, so we could probably assume they're going to come out of the mines. What would God? I mean, do it's this? always dark in the mines. What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do, indeed? Was he Methodist? He'd give him. Uh, it depends upon who's telling stories. Um, well, crap. I had two ideas. One was just to shout for them. Seems bad. It's it like a bad, bad idea, yeah. <laughs> Not as bad as my second idea, which was to get them out of here and just by firing some, uh, firing a uh, bullet into the air so they hear a nice big bang and then they come out panicked. I'm do telling they you, have just... forces here? We definitely get their attention. We definitely get their attention, but do we. Oh, yeah, they can have oh, they... horses. Yeah, there's three horses here. Uh, I'm you say gonna untie the horses. Oh, okay. Hang on, make, see if they've got rifles on there or guns. Or I'm going to check their horses' bags first, and then I'm going to untie the horses and say, yeah, and smack so, them on the butt. So they, they do have, uh, two of them have holsters for rifles, like sling holsters, but there are no rifles in them. Um, That's not fun. Uh, you, you do find some jerky in one of the saddlebags, and yeah, uh, a... Uh, an, and you find some uh, a, an empty bag that says Wells Fargo on it in one of the other bags, but there's nothing in it. Do I know whose horse that is? Uh, you do not. Well, who was he saying robbed Wells Fargo? The sheriff and his boys. Oh, okay. Uh, Lee Smith, Jake, and Rico all. Preacher, these are bad men, right? These Offer are bad them a men. drink. Offer them a drink. Everything will be over. They'll go meet their maker. Then they'll answer for their crimes. A little Still glow needed. is coming from the mine. You see a glow from deep within. Oh. So it's, it's, somebody's coming out, and there's a lantern lit. Uh, you, ha it, as it's just down, you know, sundown has just come. Um, you, you're, you're, you don't have anything lit. There's about a half moon of light, so there is a little bit of light out here. Um Beautiful night, starry sky, half moon. Uh, you, can, you can see the horizon still uh, as as we're just past sunset. Decision time, Doc. Stuff the liquor in the sure. back and hide. See if they've got dynamite and throw it at them. Uh, so have I early perused their uh, their horses? So I know that there was spots for rifles. There's the empty Wells Fargo bag. That's all I was able to really glean. And the jerky. Yeah. Mm. The liquor in the jerky bag so they find it. Don't be discriminating. They'll just drink it. Especially with Doc on this one. That wouldn't give us the information about the... Uh... We could make them tell us the, the location of the treasure or I won't give them the antidote. But they'll it's die pretty <laughs> quickly. If they die uh, before they tell us. Antidote. Nah. It'll be fine. We got time. Are you sure? Uh, so actually, uh, I'm guessing sure. they're pretty close at this point. Which one? It was Rico who was um, my friend, right? Yeah, the big friend is Rico. Then there's the uh, the sheriff and then the skinny guy, Jake. Yeah, so I... You know the interesting thing about everything everyone is John is because in most role play games when you have four people there's actually like four characters. Uh well no there's only one character. I just want to remind everybody that this would be a 1 on 3 or a 2 on 3 with the NPC uh slim. So it, these are not fair odds. Um you don't have yeah. four characters here. Okay. Poison. But <laughs> we have one hand tied behind our back. <laughs> one hand. Yeah. Just been shot. The time has come for poison. It's not even clear to me that we have a gun. Do we have a gun? Yeah, that's what you, I was You do have a gun. We have our gun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we have your gun. gun. That's all we yeah. do. We got a gun. And you have three shots in it. And there's three enemies. So, I mean, what could go and wrong? He, and he's lost one, so he really should be able to kill him. 
Uh, okay, so. Oh, just threaten I, them. I ain't putting everything Put the, to a fib. Yeah. Point the gun at Slim and tell him if they don't tell you where the money is, you're gonna shoot Slim. I got two rifles though. Poison them. He needs to shoot us. <laughs> no, what I'm thinking honestly is just getting them back to town first and tell them there's an emergency. Uh, someone came looking for the Wells Fargo bag, and uh, that. Uh, what's what's the name of the woman again? I'm sorry. Jasmine. 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 Jasmine was shot. All right, and they come walking out. So as as you're talking to yourself in your head, Slim's like, uh, "You got a plan yet? You got a plan? They're they're coming. I mean, they just rounded the corner. They're, they, I, I can. They, I, I don't. They can't see us. I can see them. Uh, we got a plan. Right, so I come out. I come out frazzled. Rico, I'm, I'm so. What the sorry. hell are you I, doing? I'm, says Slim as you go running up to the. <laughs> I'm holding my shoulder. I'm playing, playing the act up. Well, not even acting. I got shot. Um, I, I'm glad I found you, uh, Sheriff. There, there are some angry people in town right now, and uh, they, they are looking for the, some, some guys who, who stole uh, money from Wells, Wells Fargo. How'd you um, get out of the sale? I, what? He arrested us. That's true. What? Start blasting us. Start blasting <laughs> Poison them. This conversation was boring anyway. <laughs> so, so uh, Jasmine, Jasmine had let me out. Uh, she, she knew these people were angry, and she knew you guys were in the mines, and that uh, th she needed someone that that could possibly help. And in in the meantime, she's been shot. I've been shot, and I came to find you guys to try and put a stop to this. Uh, they said yeah. that someone stole their money, and they're they're scouring the town to try and find it. Oh, uh, well, uh, yep, yep, I, that's, that's terrible news. I, I wonder who stole their stuff. Yeah, let me, any, did, what, did you take anything from the bags? The jerky. The jerky, okay. but I, would, the, I put the Wells Fargo bag back. Okay, he goes, well, man, that is, that is kind of shocking. I, um, I wonder who could have robbed that Wells Fargo wagon. And he goes digging through his bag, his saddle bag. Now... Jake, I do have my hand on Jake, the and uh, Jake and Jake um, and Rico have the rifles, but they're not pointing them at you. And he pulls out a Wells Fargo bag from his saddlebag. Well, <laughs> would you look at this? And he chucks it at you. All right. No, so actually, I... you're you're holding. You're you got. He chucks it at Slim. Well, boys, looks like we found our thieves, and they shoot Slim. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> you mean thief, not thieves. Thief. We didn't do it. Singular. Uh, uh, bit for uh, control. <laughs> shit, I wanted to... Uh, Is everybody in? Everybody but Johnny Law bit again. Oh, God. Oh, uh. Pass. I can't. <laughs> yeah, pass. All right. Well, by default, you. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean 21. I typed in one. All right. Well, I'm. By like, default, you are after. still in control, uh, Pastor. <laughs> 21. Yes. <laughs> I, I did not mean to send that. Um, I'll do, he wants a I realized, you no, know, God does not take too kindly to uh, to murderers, and so oh. with his good hand, he's gonna fire bang, bang, bang at all of them. Bang, bang, bang! Give me a roll. That's, all right, that's and not gonna work. I do have gun fighting as a skill. Do you have will to put into it? Because you can spend will points to anybody can spend will. Can also, any player can bid oh. and put up the willpower. So, uh, do that. but before the roll, no, you just say it. Before the roll, yeah, you just say how Hang much on. you're gonna. How much are you gonna add? Because it gets a plus one for everyone we give. You two. gonna add. Well, I'm gonna. So first... you're giving two. two. You're giving two. 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 I'll, I'll give a. I'll give it's one so that he. I'll give yeah, one so that he gets the to... arbitrage now. I get in the game here. Give two. I'll give I'll give one so that he auto succeeds. He auto gets a six. So that you have one left and we all have zero. Give two, Doc. <laughs> no, I have more than I have more than that. 
<laughs> I'll give two. Stop being stingy. No. <laughs> I'll give one. It's an auto success. I'll That's all we need. Doc. I'm going to give whatever Doc gives. <laughs> okay. I'm giving one. <laughs> All right, so Corey, my question for you because I do have yep, yep, yep. as a skill. Yep. yep. So they're giving one, one, and uh, two, or are you also yeah. only giving one? She's giving two. Johnny Lawson. What's what's your total? <laughs> oh, okay. So is this for all the all three shots? No, we're doing first shot first. All right, oh, so I gotta I save some ammo then. So yeah. I give one. <laughs> yeah. So you get plus four. Which for okay. Uh, so that's going to be a grand total of six, but also I've got the skill of gunfighting. Yep. yep. So, oh. boom. You, 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 what are you trying to do as you draw on uh, Jake is first from left to right? What so do you do? I'm, gonna, I'm aiming right for his hand. It's got the rifle. All right. Chang! It, it, it takes off a, a finger or two. You don't know, but he's holding his hand with one hand and the rifle's laying on the ground. Second shot. All right, I'm gonna add one to this. This one's one. on the this hey, one. This one's on the sheriff. Is he got the other rifle? It, sheriff oh, I, I sheriff doesn't have a rifle. Me. Sheriff just tossed the bag. So All you're right, adding gonna... one, Johnny. I'm adding. Well, I'll, I'll add. Now. I'll add one here, Doc. If you'll cover the last one. Sure. Uh, and lucky, are one. you gonna add any this time? Uh, I'll add one. So you got plus three on this. Uh, plus four because I actually added my own. <laughs> Oh, sweet. No, right. plus three, because I didn't. And you roll. Oh, that's fine. Still uh, six again. Six? All right. Sweet. So uh, you, you hit the sheriff. Um, where, where, or what are you trying to do with the sheriff? I mean, you're the gunfighter. Hit him in the oh, leg. Right in the leg. Sheriff goes down. All right. Last shot. Bid for control. Oh, bid for control? Uh-oh. That guy with a rifle still? <laughs> I have nothing to. I have literally have zero. So uh, yeah. I, you I guys all have one. zero. I cool. have yes. one. Oh, yeah! Look at these people hoarding their points. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have that many points. No, no, no. Matt is a hoarder. I don't have that many points. points. Uh, she said you're a hoarder. Yeah, you can bid zero. <laughs> Then it's we all have to rebid and I, I no no, I no you can't bid zero everybody bid I yes didn't text you but I have nothing I have zero so okay I can't bid more than all three. right uh in that case Lucky John um you are oh you are in control <laughs> Wait, as what? as you draw down on Rico as I draw yeah. down on Rico okay um, how much did you bid <laughs> one oh, but don't take your pants off. <laughs> I'm not gonna take my pants off this time. This time. Pants on. Uh, it's really hard I'm to undo a buckle when you have one functional shoot Rico. Arm. That's right. All shoot right, Rico. give me the roll. Oh, Anybody adding? Anybody I'll adding? Add two. Zero. Adding zero. two. Zero. I'll add zero. Plus two. I rolled a three. Plus two. So Plus five? two is a five. All right. Um, well, it's lucky John, you're not so lucky. It, the bullet goes whizzing by his ear. Which it is a little bit lucky because he uh he he came so close it drew his shot off. So both of them shot slim. Uh, now you're out of ammo. Now you're out of ammo. Um, or the gun. <laughs> Jake is Jake is uh, holding his hand and and screaming. the The sheriff is is on his on his you know. Creighton, he's like on his side, hugging one one leg, and he's like, "Oh, Rico, shoot him, shoot him, Rico!" Uh, what do you do, Lucky John? You got you got no bullets in your gun. You, you know that you are you know there are no bullets in your gun. You need some real bullshit here. Get behind the pants shit. off. Offer him a drink. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that would be um, true. A peace offering. Offer him a drink. A peace offering. A pre peace offering of what though? I drink the alcohol with the arsenic. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah. Or as we called it earlier, the so, nick in the arse. So let's just. We messed up. It happened, but um, I we would like up. to make it. They amends. started framing us. Yeah, I know, I know, but we gotta. But be we're nice. trying to. We're trying to poison them. You have to be nice. We're trying to make amends, <laughs> but so. 
instead of y'all shooting me, why don't I offer y'all some of this delicious alcohol that we have? Um, it's actually like moonshine, like it's high dollar moonshine. It has a label um, on it. It's called whiskey. What? It's whiskey. <laughs> it's whiskey. Okay. It's in a glass um, bottle and not plastic. That's how you know it's quality. Yeah. It's yeah. one of those Dan Aykroyd's gold shape. giant bottle for $7. <laughs> <laughs> I'd seven like dollars in the know, old west as, is a good as, bottle of whiskey no i mean like as modern day friend, seven cents um you know i think we can all be friends and i think that we could all work something out where everyone is happy all right all right R- roll roll some deception there to see if you can deceive him into uh, this is this is i'm actually adding some to this uh this this tar- target so nope. what, what what'd you get there a two. Two, two. All right. I, I Look here, stranger. I, I you can get that bottle. I don't care. You can get that bottle out of my face. You ain't romancing me. Drop the gun and then lay down on the ground. Drop my pants. <laughs> Why? Is this your obsession? Like, is this how you score points? Yes. What did she? What? What are you doing? What are we doing? What am she I got doing? her dick out for Harambe. <laughs> Dick's out for Harambe. All right. Um, what am I doing? Am you, I doing? You, you go to you go to start unbuckling. He's like, "Not again! I'll shoot you!" I sh- I, I sh- and, and the sheriff says, "Shoot him! Shoot him! Bid for control!" All right. Please bid. Now everybody, everybody should have be getting some back with all this bidding. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Man, no. I'm deciding. <laughs> I haven't I haven't gone to get any of my obsession. Dicks out for Harambe. Uh, All right, has everybody got their bids? I yeah. believe mine should have sent. All right, everybody <laughs> except for except for Wit uh bid again. I can't. All right. Uh All right, Doc, you're in control. Oh, uh, okay. You do best. Um, gentlemen, gentlemen, listen, listen, wait. Before you shoot me, I'm a doctor. You're you, two of your men are wounded, and if they don't get s- some kind of medical treatment, they're gonna die. So if you kill me, you're killing them as well. Should have laced the bullets. Uh, all time. right, all right. Give me, give me some kind of uh, persuasion there. Four. <laughs> all right. I'll tell you what. Oh, um, you, you. Wait, 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 wait. Before that, you can oh, uh, get over there and and just start start get tend to the sheriff. If I see any buzz, funny business, I'm gonna pull this trigger. Tend yeah, to the sheriff, absolutely. doctor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sheriff's totally gonna need a painkiller. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, here, I'll uh, I'll do this, and I'll take some. Uh, I need to disinfect the wound, and I'll uncap the bottle of whiskey, and <laughs> pour some of the arsenic laced whiskey in his in his wound. All right. Whiskey, whiskey is much more effective as a painkiller internally. You got to take that was, internal. I was gonna say, like, isn't it a thing where it's like you take a swig and then you yeah. pour it on? Yeah. Do you, you want to numb it before you? Numb do you it? want a shot, hey, sheriff? Like. Yeah, yeah, hurt. and he takes and he, and he drinks some. He drinks some. Yeah, uh, you two, you're next. Here, take a drink, and, and, and I'll and, hand it to the to Jake. All right. Um, yeah, you hand it to Jake. Jake takes a drink, and and you you feel as you're as you're bandaging legs and passing around whiskey, you you feel the uh, the barrel against your back. Oh, you got I, you better get to working on them. All right, all right. Uh, Let him a drink. Yeah, I'll set the bottle down behind me so that he can he can reach it, and then just start tending to their wounds like I would normally. Oh, uh, hell. I'm really. You yeah. actually got bandages. You you must be a doctor. Yeah. I, I am. Oh, I know words God. like uh, I know words like uh, pharynx and uh, meningeal. You, you, you need to, to start to trying to sweet talk me, little bitch. I, uh, I'm just saying. No, and he pokes you with a with a with a rifle. Uh uh-uh. uh. We ain't we ain't yeah, sweet talking no more. You ain't That's getting fine. no more of this. I'll get I'll get back to work. Um, 
Yeah, I'll just I'll tend to these right, get, these get, wounds. Give give me give me two <laughs> medicine checks. One for what uh, you're I will doing well, and then what you're trying to do. Okay. Doc, Doc, before you do that, you gotta ask Rico if that's his gun barrel or something else in your bag. <laughs> nope, not doing that. <laughs> See, that's how we get into these messes. <laughs> that's how we get a second gun wound in us today. Yeah. So four on the first one. Okay. Anybody well, you give me some points. You you've stopped you stopped the you stopped the bleeding one. in the sheriff's leg, and uh, uh, the you, you realize that the. Um, that the the hand wound is not as bad as it looks, um, okay. and 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 he'll be fine if he just keeps pressure on it. Yeah. Uh, now now for the second roll. Uh, yeah, plus and you, one. Plus one. Okay. That's all the pluses I'm getting. You got this, Doc. You don't need my help. Yeah, uh, I don't have anything to give. Two plus one, so three. Three. All right. So you 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 notice that the arsenic is starting to take effect. Uh, on on the the two that you're tending to, um, it, and then you you start to recall from your medical journal that one medical journal that you briefly flipped through at one point. Yeah. yeah. Um, that arsenic is a very slow acting poison. This this could be a while. Um, yeah. That's all fine. right. Uh, but it is taking <laughs> but- effect. So then I'm going to take the bottle and pretend to take a drink, keeping my lips closed. Plug it with, or plug it with your thumb. Yeah. And right. I'm going to say, they're going to be okay. They're going to be okay. They're going to need some extra tendon to, but I think everything is going to be fine. And I'll just hand I'll just hand the bottle backwards, not even looking. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, give me a roll. Just just roll a die. Like persuasion? I'll, nope. put two, I'll put my last two points into it. All right. Doc, I love what you're doing. Uh, you're killing it. So I'm going to give you my, my point. Okay. Point. That's seven total. Seven. <laughs> so you reach back like this. You're like, they're going to be okay. They're, it's going to be a while, but they're going to be okay. And as you reach back to hand the bottle of whiskey, you just seem to reach right as he pulls the trigger, and the shot goes under here. Uh, and then... He steps back and he goes, well, then we don't need you anymore. Clack. Wait, 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 wait. They're going to die if they don't keep getting attention, but they're stable. And uh, there's your, your inches away from the rifle that Jake okay. was having there that ha- <laughs> Jake had. Then what I'll do is I'll be like, Johnny Law, it's your turn. And I'll chunk the bottle of whiskey at his head, and then roll and grab the uh, grab the rifle. All right. As... Any, any anybody want to contest Johnny Law for control? Johnny Law, do you want control? Sure. <laughs> it's time for Johnny Law to take over. All right. Yeah, I'll bid zero. <laughs> I bid zero. All right, Johnny Law, you got a rifle. You're laying on your back. There's another man with a rifle uh, uh, standing over you. Shoot the bastard. All right, give me a roll. It's not complicated. I just shoot him. I got nothing to give you, man. <laughs> I got right. one. We're give gonna... me one. Give me one. Oh, everybody, one. everybody, we, since we shifted control and you all bid zero, you gained one. Oh, Remember yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So, uh, what's your roll? It's four plus whatever I'm being given. So, one. four plus two. Six. 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 All right. What were you trying to do with this shot? I'm trying to shoot him in the face. All right, oh, so we're gonna take the other guys in. We're not taking Rico in. So R- Rico falls back, and uh, and, and there's and there's a gory mess laying uh, where where his head One used of the to little be. Little heads in his busted head. And <laughs> can we shrink it? I've always wanted to. T- I've always wanted to to like be a Frankenstein. I could do this. I, I don't know that we're gonna be able to shrink this head. Johns, there's there's not a whole lot left to work with, but I do no, have I, the image. What if we surgically attach a shrunken head to his shoulders? I oh, think yes. when we get like back in, to town, like in uh, Beetlejuice, <laughs> just like that. So, right. uh, yeah, we're gonna put all the bodies on the horse. Wait a minute, no, we gotta find out where the money is. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have. Well, there, I there have are poisoned everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> everyone else is slowly everyone else dying. Is, yeah, they're all poisoned, so. Now's a good time to bargain. Yeah, so Jake, 
Um, sheriff there. Uh, he's probably gonna die. Um, but you might survive this if you tell us where the money is. And I, I rack the rifle and point it at him. Yeah, now, 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 uh, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, stranger. <laughs> I, 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 I tell you. I shoot. I shoot the sheriff, and I rack the rifle, and I point it at him again. Whoa. Well, the sheriff, the, the sheriff oh. definitely died. Now you want, to, so you want to reconsider what you say to me next. Don't shoot the deputy. Okay. Right, right. Well, uh, <laughs> let's 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 go on into the mine now. Let's go on in there. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll help you find it. I'll help you find it. You just walk on in front of me. I'm sure you can be helpful. Go ahead and hold the lamp. Oh, uh, okay. With your busted hand. Hey, Johnny Law, you want to hurry this up? He's slowly dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I poisoned him real good. All right. So, so uh, you go, you go down into the mine, uh, following Jake, um, and. As you're going in, he's weaving through some places. He gets to a door, and uh, he goes, In the foreman's office. He's in the foreman's office. I suggest you go in the foreman's office and get it, but if you come out holding anything other than a bag of money in your hand, I'm going to shoot you in the knee. Um, well... How do I say this without getting... Well, I, I don't want you to shoot me. Uh, but, but when we left, the, the foreman was laying down. Oh, so he's still alive. He, was he laying down because you shot him? No, he's just laying down. Go to sleep. Give him a drink. <laughs> Wake him up. Uh, all right, what do I say to him? <laughs> I'm here for the money. We just left without the money. We told him to keep money safe. I'm bleeding. He ain't gonna bleed us. Well, I can shoot you. Or I can shoot the foreman. Who do you want me to shoot? All right, all right. And he goes up to the foreman's office door, sets down the thing, opens the the door, and uh, holding his holding his hand to his chest, he's like, yeah, he's, he's still." And you can hear somebody snoring. Wake his ass up. Or just shoot him. Uh, all right. Tommy. 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 And this huge guy. Huge. Like six foot tall, six foot wide, all muscles. Stands up. Jake. You're bleeding. Hey, yeah. Tommy. You know, hey, Tommy. You know where the money is? Who's that? I'm I'm here to help collect the money. What? What's? Why's? Why's Jake? What's Tommy, going on? Do you, Tommy, do you know where the money is? Yeah, I know where the money. Yeah, of course I know where the money is. Shoot Jake. <laughs> <laughs> He's not useful anymore. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. And he 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 goes he goes dive into the side as you shoot Jake. Um. Bid for control as he rolls across the floor and comes up with a, uh, a, a, a double-barrel shotgun. And you have no idea how much is in this Winchester you're holding. Well, neither does he. I trust that lucky John can get us out of this predicament. It's going to be sheer dumb luck if we still have any ammunition left. Well... <laughs> I'm not lucky. I, th this was the funniest one he could have given me. <laughs> All right. So is everybody got in? the power of God on my side? I'm in. Everybody's got their bids in. Lucky John, you're up. Yep. Uh oh. Okay. Well, I'm going to hope that luck is on my side. Is. And I'm going to hope that there is some bullets in this Winchester. And I'm going to try to shoot him up. I like it. All right, give me the roll. I will mention, on, however, he's you still don't know where the money is. <laughs> oh yeah. No, he's, oh, you're shooting just man, right? Uh, I'll still give you a point as well. But I don't know where the money is. Well, then you're doing it now. <laughs> yeah. We're in this now. <laughs> oh, it was. I need new dice. What'd what you do roll? you got? Uh, two. 
a two plus, two plus two, and that's it. Four is a total. All right. So the, the gun the gun goes off. Uh, a a a bit of uh, dirt and stuff off the floor sparks up next to next to uh, Tommy, and uh, Tommy unloads both barrels, and they miss you. I just keep getting a shot. And and he no, goes. He he he. Then he's reaching and scrambling and trying to get shells back in his gun. Uh, I, I, I may have some more bullets in here. Don't do say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel lucky? Do you feel lucky, Tommy? I lost track and all this shooting. Was yeah. six or seven. I might be completely useless at this point. We don't know. I did miss you before. I Take a revolver and be like. <laughs> I had a bullet in the chamber, but now are you feeling lucky? So, feeling so lucky, Tommy, t- Tommy, yeah. Whoa. Maybe we can come to a, a, a deal. What if uh, we split this like sixty forty? Um. All right. All right. Be better than what he was getting. He 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 loads his gun and he keeps it to the side. You lower your weapon. We'll split it sixty forty. Sixty my way. Fine with that. Uh, I mean, I've done a lot of the work here. I've saved several of your friends at this point. Wait, I could have let them I, die. I, I see no, evidence to say the differ. Yeah, we killed we killed all of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, we attempted We saved we them from a the slow save, death. I poisoned we them. We attempted <laughs> to save them. Saved them a lot them. of pain and suffering. They were gonna be yeah, fine. I mean, yeah. Uh, you know, we attempted to save them. I've used a lot of my own medicines on your friends. Uh, and do, these were expensive medicines. These weren't cheap. Ask him if uh, he has more laudanum. Dollar. If he has more laudanum? Yeah, ask him if he has more opium. Go for 50-50. Yeah, what about 50-50? I'll, I'll deal with it. I'll, I'll make a deal. I'll do 50-50. Give me a roll. I knew you were going to do that. I'm going to add two to that roll. Because 50 is twice as much as the 25% he was getting before. I mean, I knew... Mm. Adding two I to your roll. Dice. It was two. Two right, to well, four. Plus two I is haven't four. rolled above a freaking two. All right. So so he's he's he says, I'll tell you what. We'll each take 40. And we'll play for the rest. That sounds like a good plan. All right. So, um, Offer him what's drink. your game? My great, my game. Poker. My game is Hand of the Hanatas that we're playing next. Week. <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus Christ>. oh. <laughs> and next yeah. week on this stream, at the same time, we're playing Hand of the Hanatas. <laughs> Where's our check coming, Corey? <laughs> Sponsored by. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well I'm done. done. <laughs> well done. Well done. All right. So so uh, he he uh, he says points over there and he starts to lower his gun. Do you put your your gun on the on yeah. the on the table? He puts his gun on the bed. He pulls over a table. There's already cards sitting on it. He has he sit down. He shuffles. He deals. Um, you get the sense that he's stalling for time. Uh oh. Come on, deal him out. What do you like? Deals. Not that kind of stalling. Like he's waiting for reinforcements, kind of stalling. Yeah, no, I figured. And what are you waiting for? Why are you so slow? I like to think when I play cards, helps to. Win. And I like to drink when playing cards. Makes me more now, attractive. Actually, we don't have that bottle anymore. I threw it. I threw it at old man. We don't. I threw it at the guy. Get off from a shrunken head. You could also. All right. So game. so get. Let's give a gambling roll. One five. Hey. Five. All right. You did it. So. So you're 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 able to uh, to win the first hand, and he's like, "Double or nothing." 
All right, we're at 60-40, so that means, let's see, what's that mean if you win? Uh, it's 20. 90-10. 20%. 90-10, um, do the math for it. 90-10. We were just playing for 20. No, we're paying for... is just another 40. Yeah, we're paying for we're paying for 40-40. No, we were yeah. already then... at 40-40. We're playing for 20. Yeah, and now it's 60-40, so we have 60, he has 40. So another 20 yeah. would make it 90-10. Okay, he's basically saying all or nothing for himself. Because we can't get double out of this, right? We get we get jammed. We got, we got no percentage here. Just shoot him. <laughs> Can I do I'm that? sure Can guns I just are shoot down, right? Yeah, you're going to no, grab your gun and shoot We still don't know where the money is. We still don't know where the money is. Oh, right, the yeah. money. So you you get the feeling that he's stalling for reinforcements um, and that the, the poker game, which you're winning, uh, is just uh, just a uh, – so you, you still got to figure out a way to get him to give up where the money is. Yep. No, I don't want to play Bid anymore. Bid for control. So you say, I don't want to play anymore. He's like, all right, all right, 60-40, 60-40. Bid for control. My phone needs to stop auto-correcting. <laughs> it's like, auto-correcting ah. your name? All right, is everybody in? No, I had like a word that he told All me. All right, so, <laughs> so Wit and Doc need to boot again. I have zero because I gave my last two for that one convincing roll. In here. Gave mine up. All right, then I'm just gonna choose. Uh, we'll we'll just say, Doc, you're in control because you bid the exact same twice. Everybody yeah. else gets a willpower back. Uh, what do you do? Yeah, I'm gonna look around while he's doing this. I'm gonna look around his little foreman area here and see what he's got. Is there any like dynamite or anything? Um, no, the, he doesn't sleep in a room with dynamite. That's kind of very. Uh, Where's his gun? His gun is laying on the bed next to him. Your gun's laying on the the basically box that he keeps his stuff in um, next to you. And as you look around, he goes. He looks at you as you look to, towards where your gun is, and he goes to read, like put his hand towards his gun. Whoa, friend! Everything's okay. Oh. Everything's okay. Um, for need the, the money now. The sheriff's dead. Is yeah. Rico? Where's name? where's the money? All right, give me a um give me just give me a die I'm, roll I'm to try him. and read to read what what he does. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try a little bit different tact for you here, Corey. I'm gonna say, look, we're both men of the world, right? And a men of yeah. God. Men men of action, as it were. Men of violence. Uh-huh. So I don't know who you're waiting for here, but they're dead. <laughs> and, and so the thing is, is you need to do business partner. And I know how things just go missing from banks sometimes, and that's fine. And if you're waiting for the sheriff or Rico, they're dead. So what needs to happen now is we actually split that money because whoever is coming is not going to give you a better deal than I will. I'm trying to use like the streetwise ish. Yeah, like, go ahead. Yep, go ahead. Uh, four. <laughs> there you go. All right, good. That's good since I'll you have that. I'll give him one. You... It's too late. You have to give yeah. it before I roll. Yeah, oh, okay. that's okay. But a four is good enough because he Doc has streetwise. Um, so, all right, what's your, what's your plan with it? Can we, can we get out of here? Yeah, absolutely. Got like four horses. The sheriff, obviously, he and his men had a dispute over who was going to get one share of the money. You and I rolled up to the mine where they had hidden it, saw what had happened, and took care of it. The sad, the only tragic thing of the whole thing is the money was lost. Um, In the they've mine. Hidden it, they've hidden it somewhere, uh, and it's unrecoverable. Yeah. What about Slim? Let me make oh, a yeah. stop, and we can make that work. What's your name? They anyway? killed Slim. Uh, Doc John Farnsworth. Doc John Farnsworth. All right. 
Well, I tell you what. And he, he, he points to where your rifle is. In that case, in, in the crate is, is the money. Let's split it. And then I'll, I'll meet you to confirm your story back in town. Let's say we meet at the uh, saloon. Sure. All right. And, but we're going 50, 50. Yeah, that's fine. All right. And, 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 uh, he divvies up the money. You got half the money. He's got half the money in, in a big satchel. Um, lots of money. This is a ton of money. And you, he has his, he puts his rifle like in a pack, hopes that you put yours, you know, yeah. if do. you start to point it at him, he's, he's going to be cautious until you put the rifle away. Nope. Um, and then you guys go to make your way out. He, he, you get out and he sees that you weren't lying. He's like, oh, yeah, they were, uh. Man, I can't believe the sheriff is a thief. Wow. Well, you know, I think it may have actually been Rico, Jake, and Slim. And the sheriff maybe found out what was going on out here. Oh. And he rode down on them bravely by himself. And we were just too late. All right. All right, then. Um, I say a prayer for that. He, he, Real he quick, says, though. He, 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 Hey, Real Doc, quick, though. This, um, Doc, Doc, this would all make a lot more sense if we actually brought the bodies back to town. Yeah, and the also... The cargo bag and, like... Yeah, and the other thing about that is uh, we're going to need to shoot them because their wounds... No, you actually just executed them, didn't you? They're dead. So, we don't need to shoot yeah. them anymore. I was just making sure they weren't <laughs> poisoned dead because if they're poisoned dead and we rolled yeah. up with them and they didn't have, like, I mean, fatal gunshot yeah, I mean, wounds... We, we can shoot beating again. I'm, I'm cool with that. We can go back yeah. and shoot Jake again too. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. So yeah, uh, yeah, we'll. I'll take the. I'll take my half of the money and load the bodies up and carry them back to town. And the All right. Yeah, take the evidence. Uh, and the time. and the bags. Yeah, the bags. Uh, and and <laughs> I will meet you there. I will meet you there to confirm your story, which you must add that uh, for that you saw some dynamite. Um. Okay. Uh, and that, and then, and then, um, I'll, I'll confirm your story by saying that they, that the, the dynamite went off, and that that money must be buried in the mine somewhere. You know what I heard? I heard that the bodies were actually inside the mine. That everybody, yeah. you know, when the dynamite went off, it trapped them all inside as well. So uh, maybe the bodies go in the mine instead. And they exploded. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, help me get these so help me get these folks in the mine. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> and in that case, head outside. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> On a little fire. It's just like a little yeah. stick. Just, just in bad that case, you there. you and Tommy pull the bodies inside. You blow up the the mine, uh, and you ride back to town together. Um, yeah. I go straight to hand in uh, hand, and we kiss him on the back of the neck. I go straight to Jasmine when we get back in town. All right. Bid for control. Everybody in? Yep. All right. Uh, Lucky John, you got you got the control. As you roll back into town and go to the saloon, uh, what do you do? Time for you got a lot of money after. in a bag. Uh, you got a you got your 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 partner Tommy. Uh, he he says you know once we're once we're far once uh, once we're out of um, Montclair Valley. Um, we'll, we'll split our separate ways. So how much money do I have? Do I know how much money I have? Or how much money is in the bag? Uh, a lot. Um, we're talking, you know, uh, probably about $8,000 in the bag. That's... I'd like to go, I would, I would like to go speak to the bartender. Or... I'd like to speak to the manager. All right. You go yeah, to the bartender? Bar, the bartender. Yeah. All right. Um. So, are are you the owner of this establishment? Y yes. And and um, you're you're talking to the bartender, and Tommy's like, "What? What? Okay, uh, uh, I'll I'll follow your lead." 
I sent the bag of money on the table and said, I would like to buy your saloon. But that, that, that ain't and I called Jasmine down and I said, what? honey, I oh my God! For you. Oh my God! There's a thief. The the, the 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 sheriff has been shot. The sheriff has been shot. I I the, the mine and they were in the mine and there's a and, and I didn't know that this is a the stranger was part of the th the thieves. But uh, the, the, I, I I gotta go and he leaves, and jumps on a horse and rides out of town, and the bartender's like, what what is what is going on? It's Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. Um, this isn't sketchy at just, all. Just look take into my eyes. Just take the money. Eight, eight, eight. He looks in there. He's like, "Well, well, well, sir. If this is a, if this is a, I, I take this money and, and, uh, but I, I, he's saying you're a thief. I'm not a thief. I earned this money. Um, the the man with the the mustache and the goatee and the black hat and the bolo tie stands up from a gambling table." Says stranger. Yes. Name's Sam. You messed up. Hi, Sam. <clears throat> I'm I'm with the Pinkertons. You done messed up. Oh. And uh, no. I think you, you need to hand that. Stolen money. You, you I think you need to hand that money over to me. Oh, I won it in gambling, oh, sir. Anyways, I promise, sir. Start blasting. <laughs> I'm just trying to provide a safe home for Jasmine. All right. Well, maybe you should hand that uh, that money over to me, and we can we can talk about what went down, and maybe I can uh, um, catch your partner. Oh, he's not my partner. I don't know that guy. <laughs> Give me a deception. <laughs> he's not my partner. I don't know who that guy is. I mean, that's that is, that is one of skills. That's mostly true. I only just met Tommy before we blew up the mine. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. Hey, y'all in chat, uh, where, where are we sitting at points-wise? Um, I, I rolled a four. That's good enough. You got deception. Um, Minus 50. No. So, so Tommy's not your partner. No. I'm, I'm the so you, owner. It, <laughs> I just bought it. I just bought the saloon. He just told me. But I can have it. You, yes, yes, you, I, I, I agree, Carl. He's got Carl, the money you, now. That's not that's not your money. I I know that you just sold your saloon to this stranger, but you're. Where's his evidence? Yeah, you, where's his evidence though? You're, you're not. That's stolen money. That's stolen money, Carl. I'm I'm just gonna take that, and he reaches over and grabs the bag. Now I'll take it back to Wells Fargo. Shoot him. And uh, guns out of the bullets. And I think that that's that's um, I I think that's that's what I'm gonna do. And I don't Where's think you're quite resist. in your right mind, Where's there, stranger. Badge? Resist. You gotta resist. Where's his badge? Where's do his something. Badge? Well, I, I want to see some ID. Get your pants yeah, off. Yeah. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> Get your pants off. Pop my pants. Show me your Pinkerton. <laughs> <laughs> more like a pinker pound if, if i if i'm thinking right <laughs> um yes yeah, sir i i would like to see your badge if you're throwing all this around and you're taking curl's money and he pulls out it pulls out a little leather cover and flips it open and on the and there is a there is a a a, a badge uh and it it's uh i, I don't know what a, a pinkerton badge looks like but it's pink. It, like <laughs> it's, but uh, he 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 shows you a badge and says, "I'm just gonna take this back where it belongs," and he goes walking, backing out the door because you're still holding Shoot. a rifle. Um, call, call him back. Call him back. Shoot him. Don't let him leave. Don't Shoot let him. Leave. And Shoot he him. goes <laughs> out the door. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. I and, I, sh I shoot him. I don't have any bullets. Yes! <laughs> click click click. Click, so anyway, click. <laughs> it clicks. Anyways, I was shooting. So you go to shoot. It clicks. He I looks to it. the side and he goes, "Where the hell is my horse?" Jump him. <laughs> hit him! Hit him with a rifle. 
Yeah. I get, yeah. Okay. Yeah, as he turns around, I'm going to run up and attempt to to hit him with the butt of my rifle. Yeah. All right. All right. Give me a, give me a, a a brawling brawling roll there. What do you got? It's a six. Hey, it's a six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You cold cock Sam in the back of the head. Um and uh he goes down. Money spills out of the, the bag the into the street. What do you do? He is still he's an unconscious Pinkerton bag of money. What do you do? Bid for control. Grab the money. <laughs> I Are we bidding for control? And I run. It's Carl's money. Yeah, it is Carl's money. I'm the I'm the owner. I'm the captain now. All right, is everybody in? I'm in. Johnny I'm Law. In. Oh wait, no, hold on. Johnny Law and uh, Preacher, give me another bid. I cannot. Johnny Law. Oh. All right, roll the D6. Roll the D6. Okay. We'll do it. We'll do it by a D6. I hit my roll button. Six. Two. All right, Johnny Law, you're in control. Johnny Law, get this money, get our bar, and get our woman. Is there? Is there? We got some medical attention. All right. It's gonna be very. Uh, it's gonna be sort of like an opposite of the. Uh, uh, never mind what it's the opposite of. But Carl, I, I'm very sorry, but it's it's important at the end of the day that justice be served here. And I, I prop Sam up and tap him back into consciousness. And I say, at the end of the day, it's important that justice be served. Wrongdoers must be brought to justice. And I confess everything we just did. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lawman. <laughs> All right. So, and we're, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up with the uh, with the out that with the outtakes. Convincing but a horrible won. person to do something nice, turn themselves I, in. It's, it's just a, no, but I'm obsessed, but I, I'm obsessed with law enforcement. So so uh, um, <laughs> yeah. I I think it would be because you're the horrible person um, in this. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible person just did something nice, like turning uh, himself. All right, so so uh, you end up in jail. That there's actually Sam. Sam realizes that uh, chasing chasing criminals across the prairie is not for him. He ends up being the new sheriff. You you spend uh, a lot of time in jail. Um, they don't find Tommy. Um, and uh, about about five days. Later, um, the the kind of news gets around that it was really the sheriff that robbed the the train, um, or the 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 wagon, um, and he commutes your sentence from a hanging to uh, jail and um, lots of community service in oh, Montclair yes. Valley. Um, and I mean, at least we now have to clean the buckets like I, Slim did. And, and yep, yep, you gotta be the the bucket. You're, so you're you're bucket John now. Um, and you're and that's quite literally the John. You're quite literally bucket John, and that's uh, that's that's how we'll wipe it up. Will John ends up being being a, a you know a a, a bucket man a bucket man in uh, Montclair Valley, um, and that's that that's how that's how this one wraps up. John survived. Hey! All right. Hold on, Corey. So well done. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Wait, so, what happened I, with wait, what happened with Jasmine? We need to know. Uh well yeah, what what would you that, what would you like to happen to, with Jasmine? We'll, we'll just go around. Yeah. Make an honest woman of her. All right, yeah. you wanna you I wanna mean, marry her. Order. You wanna she, marry her. We marry her if she lives in the prison with us. All right. Nah. All right, uh Johnny Law, you wanna marry her? No, no, I was planning to just go ahead and give her the bar that we bought. Uh, yeah, but she, yeah, Carl realizes that you didn't really own the bar. Uh, yeah, we but, don't but I'll still bar. give you the points for it. So um, here's here's what happens. I'm not going to give you the points for uh, Jasmine because she's going to turn you down, um, unfortunately. Um, she doesn't want to marry a hardened criminal. She's had enough of that uh, with Rico smacking her around. But she does, she does uh, carry uh, – you enter the friend zone with, with Jasmine – uh, because you got her out of that abusive relationship with Rico, um, so all the shots you don't take. 
because we shot her. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys kind of screwed me on that one. All right, so let's let's try and add up our points here. Um, I, no I, I know we drew the six shooter a bunch of times, which was uh, actually what we'll do is we'll do this. We'll go around and try to guesstimate points. Uh, what is that? Uh, whose line is it anyway? Style. We'll try and points don't matter, but we'll try and guesstimate. So, uh, Andy, go ahead and, and tell us your obsessions and how many points you think you might have. Chat, help us out. All right. So my obsessions, I get one point for drawing my six shooter. I get two points for riding a horse while in a gunfight. I never got to do that. I was very disappointed, but I think it would have been a lot of fun. I get three points for bringing a major criminal to justice. And I, here's, here's my view on that. I think justice has served lots of ways. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself credit for shooting the sheriff, who's the ringleader. Also Not the deputy. Myself, we I'm didn't dead. bring him to justice. That justice was served. We I actually committed, we actually committed another crime. Ended, uh, therefore, I brought I brought the justice to him. Yeah, I we actually to, I brought the mountain to whoever I'm supposed to bring the mountain to. So we actually got, committed an, we actually committed yeah. another crime. Well, that's why I had to turn myself in. So I figure I got six for bringing people to justice. <laughs> and I only got to draw my gun twice because then we like I got shot in the arm and left it on the floor. So I think I'm at eight. All right. Two draws and two justice. Two draws and two justice. We'll we'll, we'll say that if we're we're at eight there. Uh, what about you, Brian? Uh, so my, my one point, my one point obsession was say a proverb or wise saying. I probably had a couple of things in there that may have been considered wise, not proverby. Sorry. Uh, two points if I'm able to convince a horrible person to do uh, to turn do something nice. That's quite literally what it says. I'm guessing to turn into do something nice. Whatever. And then the third one was to exercise a demon. We exercise our own demons throughout this journey. That's really the question. Nope. Uh, we no, we more. exercised a lot. We rode horses. We got, in <laughs> we got all sorts of exercise. So, yeah. so, uh, and so just... what's your guess there? Four points, five points, maybe? Oh, we totally, we actually, no, he gets credit for turning ourselves in at the end. We exercised our own demons. Because no, no, I, I totally don't. Gets a score <laughs> no, I was thinking that as convince a horrible person to do something nice. Oh, um, man. So that'll be two points there. And then I probably said a few things in there that may have been priestly or wise. So I'll give myself another two points. So I'll stick with four. I think that's a conservative enough uh, number. All right. All right. All right. Sell yourself short. Matt. Sell yourself short, John. <laughs> the points don't matter. The points don't matter. I've got myself, I've got myself as eight at eight as well. Um, you got like 60. So my obsession, my obsession it was not to Steel poison money. people. My, I, no, it wasn't to steal money. It was to get paid money for treating people's wounds, uh, which I did, and get opium, which you guys just kept helping me get opium over and over again. <laughs> Made perfect sense. <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, I got four for getting opium and four for treating people and getting money. What's your third one? Uh, my third one was to marry Jasmine. Oh. oh. All right. And lastly, so I had Whitney. three of you. I had three of you convinced. <laughs> um, so I think I only have four points. Um, because I got one point for playing cards, which we only played once. Um, did I personally have to trick the sheriff, or does it count if okay. if we do it, you get points too? Okay, so, so we then there's the sheriff two points. to drink. Yep. Um, yep. So you get a bunch of points because I trick. Oh no, it's specifically tricking the sheriff. Yeah, um, and then I, I owned the saloon for a short, a short yes, time. You did. Yes, yes, you yeah. did. Yes, you so, did. <laughs> three, four, five, six. Six. All right. I think I'm that I think that's a you fair assessment. Terribly, you didn't give me terribly many opportunities to exercise a demon. Just putting that out there. You, you didn't go looking for any demons. If you'd have gone looking oh, for I'm demons. <laughs> And yeah, I, kept said, going back to, I want to search for demons. I kept going back to Jasmine because she was very minor. You just have to steer the party. Into stuff. Where would I? Okay. Uh, hey, there were shrunken heads. That's there were shrunken heads. Yeah. That's that probably true. a demon. I'm sure there were demons. And, and where is Joseph so anyway? Where is Joseph the Undertaker slash Necromancer, right? Yeah, um, he was definitely a Necromancer. <laughs> It, Matt, I was sure that you were like a a doctor who was actually uh, trying to kill people. Like I was sure nope. that that was your goal. I was like, nope. you are like he's got like eighty points. He's killing it. I am a criminal, but none of my goals were inherently criminal. Uh, I do have streetwise criminal as one of my abilities, and it was just like 
I, I was seriously just helping you guys like with what we were working on together because it's like we want this money and the money will help me get Jasmine. So it's to hell with everybody else. <laughs> I had, like, no direction after a while. I was like, nah, we'll just send people to God. It's fine. Yeah. All right. Uh, so so I got a question for the for the chat, uh, uh, mainly for James in chat. Did we, uh, did we give away our prizes from last week? And I know we gave away at least a couple. Yeah, I saw some popping I I in the chat. Three times? Like my chat isn't gave away two. Okay, okay, do we have any any others in chat that we could give the other two to? And we'll wrap that up. And then... Um, uh, so a, a little bit of wrap up for, um, tabletop misfits, just some, some things coming up. So Wednesday nights is our tavern talks where, uh, James and I talk, um, different D and D stuff tomorrow. Uh, we have Michael coming on to talk about, um, dynamic combat, which he's got a combat system for D and D that he uses, um, that keeps things dynamic, uh, and 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 we'll find out more then uh on the on the drive back from gen con uh we we rode together and um so we're he's going to come on and talk to us a little bit about uh his his dynamic system for for doing combat um that's tomorrow night then i think our next thing is sunday night are we doing yep. oh, or is probably, it thanksgiving uh i think we're gonna play uh, i think we're gonna play but what we're going to do is something really non-committal. We had a blast playing Gauntlet last week. Um, we didn't have a tremendous viewership, but it was so fun. Um, me and Austin and uh, Pam were laughing our butts off the whole time. So I think we're gonna I think we're gonna play some Gauntlet again. Uh, we might get Eric in or James or somebody that's free. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that. Bad I am at okay. Games. Yeah, Whitney, you can jump in. Anybody that wants It'd to, you horrible. guys, just horrible. let me know. But uh, I think we're gonna do that. And then next week, this time is Hand of the Hanataz, uh, which is the the game that uh, I wrote for the Perilous Deck of Fortuities um, for G Gooey Cube. It is based on another game that I wrote called uh, Runes and Bones, um, yep. and except it uses a deck of cards. It uses the deck of Perilous Fortuity by Gooey Cube, and we will be playing that on stream for those of you who haven't uh, seen that or seen the Perilous Deck of Fortuity. And we'll be doing that through Tabletopia um, here here on stream next Tuesday. Hey, and so. come check that out. I'm going to... I've been holding off to see if people aren't going to play, but this is out of all the games we're doing on Tuesday nights. Um, this is the one that I'm most excited about. Um, I think that this game is really, really good. It's balanced. It's fun. There's stuff to do even if you're not, even if you're not in the hand. Um, it's a good time. And I really want as many people as we can get to put eyes on it because it's it's a great game and uh, it's a fantastic game and the good and there's way to way to screw people over as we yep. learn to think on <laughs> yep and also even if the deck of perilous fortuities aren't out right now but they are coming soon and this could easily easily be played with uh, a modified set of rules on a deck of standard cards so well, even no, Matt, if, you can you can order them on Gooey Cube's website now yeah they're pre order you now you can. They're yeah. pre-ordered. They're not yeah. out out yet, though. Yeah. Oh, but okay, in, okay. Until yours gets here, you could easily like sit down with your friends and play some of this and just have a good time. Uh, but the deck of Perilous Fortuity definitely makes it better. <laughs> There's some cards in there that you can't replicate uh, without it. Uh, but yeah. And All then right. Sunday, that next week, Corey, yeah. just real quick to plug it. Um, Austin, not this Sunday, but the next, Austin is running a mini three-part campaign that's going to be Krampus theme, I am told. So it's going to be kind of a oh. Christmassy uh, type deal. Um, we're not sure. I think it's going to be the regular Misfits are going to be playing in that one, maybe a guest or two. But um, that is also coming up. That's all that right. I know about, Corey. All right. Well, that's a, a lot of... Always fun. Uh, that's a lot of stuff we got going on here in the stream. Uh, from chat, how can we get audience involved in, in what? Uh, I, 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 did I miss something? Audience it was in... the game uh, Hand of the Hanataz. Hand of the Hanataz. How do we get the, the audience involved? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if that. I'll, I'll I'll noodle on that one uh, before next yeah. Tuesday uh, on how we might get the audience involved. Um, yeah, noodle, noodle on it. On it indeed. <laughs> I, I have a slight idea that I'll talk with James about, or I'll talk with Corey about, and see what you think. All right, sounds good. Uh, and if that is everything, I guess we will we will call it. See you tomorrow night for those who are joining us on 
on stream for Tavern Talks. Um, and yes, check out our sponsors. There's a bunch of links in chat. And uh, here, and we're closing out the stream. Thanks for yeah. being here, guys. With you, with you, so good to meet you guys. You Happy too. Thanksgiving. You too. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. It was wonderful to meet you guys.